Yo, 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 yo. Hey, and greetings, 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 everyone. Let me move this back a little bit so you don't hit in your face. Let me move this back a little bit. Hey, peace. What's up? Greetings, greetings, greetings. Welcome to living my best life in Ghana. Yes. That's the place to be. Yes. You got some water back? Mm -hmm. You some of your water. Cause you thirsty. <laughs> What's up, y'all? Who in the house? Shay in the house. What's up, Shay? Hey, what's up? Welcome, welcome. I'm much of y'all. Excuse me. I'm sorry. You got to get in. <clears throat> get it in right quick. Good Walter. I'm drinking that good Walter. What's up, y'all? We missed y'all. We've been gone for a little minute, but we back. LaTondra, what's up, my hey, sister? Hey, LaTondra. Greetings. Greetings. What's up? How you doing? What that one say? How is everything for everyone? Much love to everybody. We miss y'all these last couple of days. We've been getting some things done and making some things happen. We're working on some things for you. Oh my goodness. So what's um, happening? What's happening, buddy? We're gonna talk about we're gonna talk about a good subject of Kiss some feels, yeah. Hey, greetings. Medias, yo. <laughs> what's up, y'all? Andrew Berry, what's up? What's hey. up? What's up? What's up? Everybody, welcome. Hmm, I've been doing so much talking. I forgot to put my banner. Let me do that right quick. What's up, everybody? Welcome, welcome. We're gonna have us a good talk today. Something exciting as usual. How you can take your your hobby, your occupation, or some of your biggest dreams and turn it into a reality in Ghana, in Africa, very successfully. If you do it, it will be very successful. Very. And then... Most awesome. people tell us they they say, no, oh, you don't have to reinvent the wheel, reinvent the wheel, whatever you're doing there, you can come and do it here. Yes. So when you say that most time we move, we be trying to do something totally different. We, I'm trying to shake the spot. I want to do something different. I want to get something else going on. What you naturally do that's easy for you. And it's sustain you in Africa. Seriously. Frank, what's up, bro? Whoa, Frank. What's oh, I knew up? He, I knew before I finished reading, I said he probably on his way to work. <laughs> <laughs> Frank getting that work in. That's on right. On the night shift. Or is it the morning over there? This mm -hmm. in Germany. Morning. Okay. Well, maybe it isn't our night shift. It's your morning shift, huh, Frank? Yes. Greetings. Be safe for your travel, bro, your commute. Uh-huh. Get back to us when you can. Emmanuel Phillips, hi fam. It's been a while. What up, bro? Greetings. Welcome. 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 How you doing? Smeeko, what's up to you Smico! and them little brothers, them little, little boys of yours? What's up? Bro, no. you. <laughs> Why about my die self? Yo, yo, yo. We are just excited about what we're going to be doing when we get home to Africa. And let me tell you something about that. Most of the time, when you get there, it's so much more that you can do that it's like you just be, what do I do first? <laughs> just be flexible with your mind. You know, we, we all, because we like to put where we from, the side of the world we from. We got a timetable. We have a schedule. And we know when and what we want done. So all I'm saying is when you get to Africa, you're going to plan it. But the the the, the ancestors might take you in a whole other little field, and it'd be so successful. You'd be like, man, why wasn't I thinking about doing this in the first place? <laughs> I mean, it's like that. So just open mindedness is that's it. Execute your plan, but just be open for the change that come along the way. One love, bro, Frank. One love. Greetings, yes, one love. 
Atiga. Greetings, family from Ghana. Greetings, everything. <laughs> oh. AG the King said, what? I finally caught y'all live. I love y'all. <laughs> y'all are amazing. Appreciate it, brother. Thank you, bro. Appreciate it. Welcome. <laughs> we glad you're here live, too. Hey. Mike, what's up, man? How you doing? How you doing, bro? Michael in the house. Michael Botha. Yes. Shay, I uh, say shouting out LaTondra. Shay, Shay in the house. Y'all, what's up? What's up, my sisters? While I'm thinking about it, let me go ahead and plug my little commercial for Dache Love. Ooh. Y'all, I've been thinking about some good ideas for the sister channel. Mm -mm. And make sure you go ahead and join. Uh, um, uh, if you go look in the description box from the last video, you will see the link, but I will also put it up after this. But when I tell you, y'all gonna love that. And Sweet. guess what? I'm going to keep the channel private because when we start having some things going on on the channel, it don't need to be seen by everybody. You got to be subscribed to Dot Your Love to Dot be a love. part of it. Dot Your Love <laughs> is future love. It's a uh, Future in tree and love is Odo, 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 and that is what we are doing. The sister love channel will be about repair, uh, healing, self care, getting ready for love, or dealing with your, your loved one, your significant other, your husband, or your mate how you need to adjust and be more sweet and kind or how you need to be more into things that you need to do for yourself to make you happy in the relationship, okay? Smiggle Chronicles said, first time among friends listening to you guys. Hey, Yo. what's up? Shout out to the Fireboat Substation, Kingston, Jamaica. Oh. <laughs> Man, we love Look, Kingston. We drove to Kingston. From we Mo are Mo coming. Mo we are time. actually going to be coming there really soon, Smigo. So we're going to be letting you know. Helen Johnson, greetings, family. What's up, hey, Miss Helen? Helen, what's up? Greetings. Uh, welcome, welcome, welcome. This is Shane's Highland. I'm going to everybody. Latonja, T. Rich. What's T. up, T. Rich? Rich. Hey, what's up? What's, what's up, up, sis? Who, who, who? Yeah, hey, Smigo, we had a flat on the way to Jamaica. Well, on the way to Kingston, we drove from uh, Mo Bay to Kingston. Had a flat. Soon as we got there, and you know how everybody get into Kingston. Oh, they gonna do it to you in Kingston. Man, some dude pulled off the highway because we didn't know where the spread was under the under the this shit was up under the van under the passenger side. I had we was outside under outside under the, outside outside of the van under underneath the, 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 the van. bottom of the van, <laughs> not the drive side, but the passenger side. We was out there like some dummies for about an hour trying to find a spare. Man can't find a spare Brother time. Brother rolled up on us and man, hooked us up right and quick. took care of us. And man, we got y'all so much love. What's up, Miss Sherry, NYC? Yo! Friends, fam, what's hey, up, Miss Sherry? Hey, Miss Sherry, what's up? Greetings. Okay, so I'm, I'm among the other things that we got going on, Black Life Soap Company and all these things, I'm opening up a martial arts school. It's Black Fist Kung Fu. That's where it's going to be. And that's what my dream is. And, and my dream, this is what I'm putting out there in the, in the, uh, in the atmosphere. Yeah. I already know where it's going to be at. We already got that situated. But it's going to be a platform school. It's going to be a double level. First level will be for beginners. Then as you advance, you'll go up to the second platform level. There need to be three levels. What about black belt? Well, they're going to be working. I know they'll <laughs> be working, but they working. still need their level. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, three level, baby. Well, the beginner level will take you from, from say, no sash to, like, green. And then the second level to take you from green to blue, then advance to take you from blue to so it should be black. three so levels. Okay. Yes, Go good on, job. That, that, oh, that I like it. <laughs> Rukia, Rukia Watkins said, "Hello, I just found out about y'all listening from ATL. I love Ghana. I really want to move there. What is the hardest transition for African Americans? 
What's up, sister? Welcome hey, to the channel. Hey, welcome, first of all. welcome, Aquaba. Welcome to the family and Madassi Papa Pa. We thank you so much for being a part of living my best life in Ghana. Shouts out to all our new subscribers. Y'all been subscribing like crazy put every day. Thumbs up. And make sure you put that thumb up right quick while we just getting started to make sure that you don't forget as you enter, just go ahead and thumbs up. And Rakia asked, what's the hardest transition for African Americans? What you think? Hardest transition? <clears throat> uh probably just being away from family, you know. I think being away from family is really hard for us, especially our grandchildren. Uh, that's why they go to Africa with us <laughs> most of the time. I mean, we have to have them with us. We miss our children. Uh, we miss uh, our people that we're very close to. Being away from them, but that's the best part about being able to go back and forth and live in um that's that's just what we prefer and I'm it works out well for me what the, and for us what the hardest transition i would think would be traffic if you're gonna be there trying to live and drive when you first get there you'll be like i never yeah, drive in driving. this place in my life yeah. but after a while you want to put your life in your own your hands. Own hands. <laughs> <laughs> you take a chance. You remember that you song? Really <laughs> well, really, though, we already black. And by, by you say you're in ATL, so in the ATL, you're already in the South. So, in, you know, in the South, Southern, being Southern is, is a, it's an easy transition, I think, because some people in bigger cities, you know, they're not used to, like, you know, we got dirt roads or whatever. But, you know, you got paved roads. You got, I'm talking when you go out to the village area, situations like that. We're used to it, so. But it's countries everywhere, and the countries is everywhere. Because I went to some spots in California. I was like, man, am I in Mississippi? <laughs> As we say, hey, y'all, I offer cleaning, organization, and design services here in the States. And okay. that would be very useful. Yes. Clean, very, very organization, useful. and design. Ooh, that would be awesome. Uh, just getting getting on the ground and getting your advertisement out. You have access to billboards very, very cheaply. You Giant can, billboards. You can put your business up Huge. on billboards and say that you just shooting for the stars. <laughs> shooting for the stars. If you want to have a certain clientele, however you want to do it, you can do it. You just got to come up with a nice brand, a nice logo, a nice motto, and, and go for it. Have all what you need, all your equipment, everything. It's nothing that's, I, it's a, a lot of, of people in Ghana, especially, that have a lot going on. And uh, a lot of money flows in Ghana. A yeah, lot of money good. flows in Ghana. So don't think that you got to <coughs> penny pinch and, you know, uh, undercut yourself in prices and all of that stuff. There's all classes of people to uh for you to be have access to for any type of business that you want and people spend money with you in ghana too yes. I, I learned it because like that's like one of the things when you uh when you first start going and traveling to ghana it's like it depends and then i say that before i say this let me uh put a precursor it depends on who you go with and what capacity you go when you travel because sometimes you introduce to people on a poverty level first that's your first your first uh perception when you go there that first thing that you introduce to some people like people going with missions and things like that they go straight to the rural area and they that's their whole perception of what africa is and that's a very small percentage it's a very small percentage and not just in a crowd but you have cape coast that's fly kumasi is off the chain takarate tamale you got up timor up in the cities of north or so it's a lot, you know. So we got we gotta keep that in mind. And one thing we gotta remember, not only with Ghana, but uh Africa is a continent. Yes. Michael Botha yes. said family I didn't that was Shay. Shay oh. was, was, was coming on something I was saying. Okay. Michael Botha said, family, it's getting serious now. We need to get our brothers and sisters back home. Please spread the word about the motherland being a viable option for them. We don't have to put up with the nonsense. That's, that's right, Mike. Doing. That's what we're doing. That's I'm, that's, exactly we're, right. we're fully promoting. That's because it. it's uh we know what it is here. It's been open warfare, so it's it's continuing, 
and we got it's time for execution. It sure is. And see, sometimes we need people to, to speak up on it to let us know that uh, we're not just sitting up in the house being crazy. Smigger says, Sherry, big up. Oh, boy. They, everybody's chopping it up with, with each other. You just make sure you don't get behind the day. In the oh, I'm not stuck. You already did that. Richard Grissom <laughs> said, the sleeping giant Africa. Africa's waking up. Yes. The signs are plain to see. Yes, sir. Yes, it is. It's true. It's so true. Okay, everybody speak to each other. Yeah, because people, we not we tired of taking that, man. And then you think the Chinese, you gonna come? Wait a minute, man. Let me, let me, let me. These Chinese, I just want to slap every one of them. This don't make no sense how they are conducting themselves in Africa and outside of Africa. That's insane. Do you think any one of us from anywhere we are on this live can go to China and do absolutely any of that buck? Are we gonna lock a hundred Chinese inside anywhere. a, a China, inside a, a a warehouse that we Man, own look. in China, and nobody, uh, everybody get away with it? Mm -mm. No, nah, it wouldn't. It wouldn't happen. We know it wouldn't happen. That's why we need to go home. Yeah, blow the whole block up. <laughs> Everybody's communicating. I love the communication. So yeah, y'all, come on. Uh, Let's get started with what. what you Quite by two. She learns. Mm -hmm. She getting her, get her tree in. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to talk about how you can take your everyday hobby. She's like, yeah. Traffic. Your sorry. occupation and just you, something in your wildest dreams that you, you've seen it happen before, or you've never seen happen before. And turn it into a very successful business in Ghana. What's some examples you've seen of somebody doing it in Ghana? Uh, some examples. Just one. Just one. Uh, one just start out one, then I'm gonna give one. That's it. It don't have to be a diaspora. Just you know, people that's got good viable businesses in Ghana. What are you saying? You talking about diaspora? Though. We talking about diaspora. Right? I mean, anybody? it can be anybody. I mean, that's we only gonna talk about Africans, so it don't right. matter whether it's a diaspora. I'm gonna say, oh, uh, let's say I go first. Cause I got a couple of them in my head. I'm trying to see which one. I like Miss Pat's veg vegan restaurant. The way it runs, and it's like when we first when we met her and talked to her, the uh, the story that she told us how she started kitchen and was cooking like plates. It was like I'm like kind of similar to how we started speed vegan. Yeah. And so it was like man, so this lady actually just took a chance because Ghanaians, I mean, eat meat. You know, and it's that's just a staple of the diet. You know what I'm saying? And for a uh, uh, Ghanaian lady. So just say, no, nah, I'm finna cook vegetarian finna and, and vegan and open a restaurant? No, no uh, meat no more. She just said, she just one day said that she didn't want to do it no more because she knew that the meat was dangerous. Yep. And she just decided to, to do it. And she, she been going ever since. Rashawn Jackson, what's up, hey, Rashawn? Hey. What's up? Michelle, how's my brother doing? I just said it. Tell my homie, I said, what's up? <laughs> tell him, tell my brother, we said greetings. O'Shea said, live my life, live my best life. I'm close friends with board member to a Ghana's National Broadcasting Association. Ah! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Go, on, Shay. You, Shay, you, Shay. When I tell Shay. you. That's how it be when you have folks you have in your corner that's around you and you be around them. You have some of the best links. <laughs> and they and they do what they say they're gonna do. Anything that my they tell problem. you that they gonna do, they do it. Now be with that. Oh, you gonna make me lose my I can't risk my Say how many times have you heard somebody in the States you tell say you that. Oh, I got you, I'm gonna hook you up, just call me and we gonna whoop the whim and I got you, you need to then when, and you, then call when them, you call them, they either don't answer the phone or they be real vague. Oh, hey, oh, really? Oh, okay, nah, right, I ain't right. Gonna be able to do that. I mean, you know, they kind of watching me now. Oh, man. <laughs> who is they? You told me you had to hook up. <laughs> and we don't be looking for no discount. We just need to get the paper in the right person's hand most times. That's all. We don't need no discount. <laughs> no, we got the money. Like, <laughs> right, K, what's up? Greetings. Hey, sis. What's up with you? Oh, Family, we got say. Memphis in the house. We got who are we got? We got who are we got in the house? We got Chicago, North Carolina, uh, Frank in Germany, Germany, uh, uh, Kelsey on Kingston, uh, Smigler is in Jamaica. So, yeah, yeah. 
Everybody everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Jay Jay, what's up? He said, Hey fam, what's up, man? Hey Jay, then greetings. What's up? We is ready to go home. So we making some talks about how we can take our regular, regular hobby. Kabaya. How we can G1 take four Yo. Piece of love, family. My my love talents are music and music business. I do it all engineer, production, publishing, marketing, promotion, etc. Oh, oh man. yes, yes. Come on over and just open up you a, a, a nice recorded studio or record label. I'll tell you something. If you're making beats and you're from the States, it's you in. That's all I got to say. Come you on in. with it. We and need it. Now you merge with some of these cats over here. On, on, look, let me tell you something. You can merge with some of these cats over here. Check out an artist named EL. He's a producer as well. EL, five, boot, five beats. Kuvi beats, K-U-V-I. Five beats, and this is a different. They got K U V I or K U V I E. Yeah, it may be. Try, try both of them. I might be I wrong. think it's K U V I E. But uh, hey, what I'm talking about, Beat Supreme. Oh my goodness, and that's all that all that culture, and it's all culture. We have some some Afro beats, some all type of stuff, man. That's so so fly, so fine. Now right, everybody's chopping it up. David Semple in the house. Hey fam, oh, what's up? Greetings. My favorite couple. I wanted to create a lounge catering to diasporas, but for everyone, diaspora house. <laughs> you know. That's gonna be off the chain. Okay. I'm gonna tell you right now. You're I'm telling you. about your dream, baby. You I want a club too. I'm, I'm want, talking about. Want I want a, club. a nice. Fly. I'm talking about fly. We ain't talking about in about five, ten club. years. We talking about like next year, the I'm latest. Telling y'all. It's, we gonna have, it's gonna happen. So I, I was come, very much inspired. I'm sorry, but I was inspired by IJ Mighty when I saw the club that that brother got and him and his his partners got in Senegal. We can't wait to go to Senegal. Just I'm to go going. There. I'm going. I got to sit already. I'm wearing when I go there. <laughs> Don't play. I'm IJ Mighty. If you ever see this video, I'm coming to the club to Palais in Senegal. Mine is thing nice. Ooh, we I wish I knew what video to tell y'all to go and see it on. I'm gonna have to see if I can find it. It's AG the King is in Oklahoma. Okay. Oh, okay, in the house. I got What's some family up? in Oklahoma too. In you OKC sure City. Auntie. Yeah. My auntie. Yep. Yeah. Is that your uncle in law? Is that your uncle in law? No, her uncle. He beat my uncle because that's her husband. So he ain't no in law. Mm. Mm. If he was married in, but well, they, I married, but he just I when he was there, but I, he was, was married saying. before. I, so he's like my uncle. <laughs> All I know is Uncle H. You know what I'm saying? I don't put my uncle out there like that, but he always. I was just uncle, asking because you know? <laughs> he just popped in my head. Nah, I'm saying, what's up, blessings, family? What's Pretty up, sister? Sis, what's up? We gonna be kicking it next week. We gonna be collaborating. Y'all make sure y'all Jacqueline Tam, Toronto, Canada, hey, young girl. Sister. We got some good place for you. <laughs> yes, Prof told me, he told me to say greetings to you. We talked to Professor Smalls today. He's going to be coming on the channel next week. And he told me to make sure I give you his number so he, you can get in contact with him. All right. He sent his love. Yeah. Yes. And so now, like I was saying, y'all, make sure y'all check out my girl's channel. She's, uh, she's doing her thing. She's from here in Tennessee with me. And she's doing her thing. She has some nice, useful stuff on her channel. So look up so now. She's got it going on. We're going to collaborate next week. Sage323 uh, got a message for us. She said, they always come back after you do it, saying what they could have, should have, would have done, <laughs> but never else when you call. You, hey, look. <laughs> Say, you know what you're talking about. I'm talking about yes. they do it in a heartbeat. <laughs> oh, you know I show. Man, you sure right? Y'all that went on and did that. Man, if you had to call man, me, you nigga, go so I had to call you. I tried where, to call man. you 12 times. You <laughs> kept sending me to the, the, the answering machine. Rukia, Rukia Watkins says, I'm interested in working with public health organizations. Yeah. We need that. Public yeah, health. That, I mean, you it, you can design it however you want to. You can uh, start a campaign for public health, whether it's you know, into uh, recycling or, uh -huh. I mean, there's some growing companies and I, I have them, um, I follow them on Instagram, some recycle companies, 
some uh echo um uh, what else paper uh just uh clean clean up companies just all kinds of stuff going on with public public health sanitation i'm um, seeing some new vibrant young people with these organizations and they're doing really really well in ghana some yeah, some yeah. of them are just doing bottles i saw a recycle company is getting bottles turning them into furniture and all kinds of that stuff so like fly. that so whatever and another you thing to too do, uh it'll be a uh, very uh profitable for you too because the government now uh since this corona thing was going on they've been taking the, uh, the initiative yeah to cleaning up the markets and so they're always open to other suggestions and things like that, for, especially from us. And they said that, they said us. also the uh, the president did say after this Corona uh, thing happened that he would be more focused on sanitation and yeah, public so health. That's, so that's, it's you in the right, right field, field. In the right field. And all you got to do is get yourself to Ghana so you can be very, very, very useful. Yeah, because when you get there, you know, it's, it's always outlined of people that you can talk to. And we can point you to, you know, so you can go talk to the right people and, you know what I'm saying, at least get the ball rolling so you start informing yourself. But the trip is is always, like I tell people, we plan it, go take that trip so you can line it up and knock your ducks down. Yes. shay has got them stats. So I appreciate it, sis. 23 watching, 18 likes. Please like some thumbs up. Come on, thumb it up right now, please. Thumbs up. Come on, y'all. It's 29 watching. We should have 29 thumbs going up. Jacqueline said there's a sister on YouTube who talks about how to be a millionaire from farming, etc. in Ghana. Can I post her videos on our chat? Yeah, I uh -huh. don't see why not. That sounds good. We should be uh, getting ready to farm ourselves as long as we are trying to do these things ourselves because we need a lot of organic, natural farmers. Um, Monsanto's was trying to push their way in Ghana a few years yeah, back, and we protest against them, and they did not accept them. But I'm sure they sneaking their way in because it's yeah, some it's some stuff in the market. Sometimes looks very bigger than uh, usual, and Ghana peppers it's kind of hard to find them when they was always around in abundance. Too. In That's abundance, crazy, so that means that somebody is infiltrating our our vegetable gardening and our farming. So we got to go back and we got to do everything from the ground up. So that'll be perfect. It's, it's well needed. Let's see. David says Moringa and snail farming is big. It sure yeah, is. Yeah, for real. For now, real. let me tell you something about that snail farming. Hey. The snail farming. <laughs> and when I go to the market, it's saying like, it's like a whole, a long row, at least 50 vendors. Selling, selling snails. snails and, and i don't know what they lines people be around the kiosk i don't know get, what they doing with them snails they put them in soup, some <laughs> the soup. i don't want to say that i mean but this one, <laughs> <laughs> I, know, baby, baby. I know but it's i just, just don't i can't i know i can't do the snail <laughs> thing but oh like my octopus. sister to be like snails my sister oh no, 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 no enjoy no. enjoy you're happy for yourself <laughs> And octopus? My, my I, what I produce and partners. <laughs> the man was in the studio one night. The man's wife bought him a plate. An octopus? It, it was smelling good. It came through. I was like, ooh, what is that? Oh, Kobe said, oh, you are invited, power. You're invited. So <laughs> here I go. I look. You know, I get he's like, oh, he look and see if I'm in the heat. So I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna hit it. And I look. I said, it look like a tentacle. What? <laughs> <laughs> my head, the little octopus tentacles, it was chopped up and marinated and shit. <laughs> he was hit, come with hitting that, that octopus. Crazy. Man I was just, like, oh, oh my no. Y'all need to leave the octopus alone. I just <laughs> imagine when I eat octopus, the thing doing this around my tongue or something. <laughs> I'm just, it's just, I'm chirping. Sure <laughs> oh, my share say his name on RJ's club called Dream in Senegal. Yeah, yes. that's it. Oh, I saw infomercial. I was like, "Oh man, I got to open my club." Oh, I saw it. And he he did a, a a video with with the club on there. It was beautiful. Yeah, they see. it was beautiful. It was upscale. It was just just how we like it, just like that. Hey, we got a new person. It was that Prince Angel, P R N C, Prince Angel, bless King, but uh, 
Blessed King and Queen. Hey, greetings. Welcome, Aquaba. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to the family. Welcome, y'all. Jackman says, uh, yes, love Bye Bye Smiles. Thank you yes. so much. No problem. I got you, Jacqueline. No I'll problem. send you his link. All right, I'm going to catch up, bro. Uh -huh. I'm coming down. Everybody's talking this. You, you know ain't catching up, no But Tondra says, my hobbies are dancing and singing. I am a personal assistant secretary to a Memphis native entertainer, as well as a certified medical assistant, certified phlebotomist, and trained dancer. Ooh, oh, ooh, girl, the, look, the last one, the trained dancer, you can go there and get that. I'm telling look, let me tell you something. Just like they were telling me with my martial arts that you can get contracts with the schools. The international schools. Now I'm gonna tell you something. There might be a few of them look, look them. There's gonna be a few of them look, them things in there. At the That's international enough. school. Well, but we want to focus on the black folks. We don't want to be training so. none of them. No way. You can do your own thing because that's the thing. Oh, you can go to the international school. I said I'm a martial arts now. Ain't nobody, nobody's kids gonna be talking crazy now. I'm gonna kick you in your little chest. Now I'm just playing with. <laughs> <boy. laughs> You can do that, Latondra. Anything, phlebotomy. Anything. Okay, yeah, Latondra. Look. I just finished talking about our, our own blood banks. I just finished talking about that. We need our own African for Africa blood banks, where That's people, real. you know what I'm saying? Because we ain't got time to be mixing no blood, especially with these Corona nights out here. No, I'll say, yeah, thank you, y'all. Bless my heart. So much love. <laughs> <laughs> you no problem. No problem. Yousef L. Bay Bay. Peace, peace, King. What's up, home boy? Power ready to jump out to jump in the screen, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Yousef, what's up? Greetings. What's up, bro? Oh, okay, Shay is, is chopping over Miss. Come Jackie. on, y'all. Where them thumbs at? Shay, let us know where we at. Oh, hold on, Shane said, Miss Jack, I'm going to tell farming almonds and cashews are in my mind as people move away from the animal milk. I connected with Organic Institute in North, in the North Bolotonga. Ooh, Ooh Shay. Bolotonga, big stone area. Yes, yes. From, it's a lot of brothers in the uh, in the arts market that's from Bolotonga, too, yes, that we used to uh, kick with my they brother They are Oh my Epps. Oh my oh my Epps. Don't forget oh Shouts my Shouts out to oh my oh. Epps in the arts market in Ghana. <laughs> Man, brothers, great brothers. Yes, we miss them. Uh Prince Ain't said I'm a licensed cosmetologist with locks. Oh, locks, the lock industry is wide open. Yeah, it is. Wide open. Now wait a minute, is is how now how did it work? Because we, we were trying to do the shop in Ghana. Is was that one of the things that was on the list that come from outside you couldn't open one of the businesses? You have to have, oh, a, you partner. Have to have a partner. That's all. Okay. Okay. Yes. You have to have a Ghanaian partner, which is no problem because we're integrating and you will be no problem for you to have someone right. you can trust. And we're building right now with people that are in Ghana. So no big problem, no big deal. No big deal at all. But um look. <laughs> oh, I'm falling so far behind. Come on, man. Come on, man. Nee, Nee Montezuma said, hi, it's Otto Kwame the door. Nee, what's up? Hey, oh, he nee. good. He good. We talked he to him sleeping. earlier. He's sleeping right now. He good. Okay. He's going to be on in the morning with us. Everybody chop it up with each other. Keep him going. Keep yes, him going. keep it going. Go on, honey. Ruta said, looking into uh, Birthright Africa has been providing free educational trips to Africa for every youth and young adult of African descent ages 13 to 30 in the USA. And you say this is called Birth Birthright right Africa. Africa. I'm going to look them up, my brother. I sure am. I'm yes. sure going to look them up. Yeah. Thank you for that. Thank you for that, for sure. Uh-huh. Because we got some young ones around here that's been hitting me up. Our little brother ran up with me in the laundromat yesterday. It was like, hey, man, y'all been so right. Me and my girl, man, he like 28. He like, yeah, man, me and my girl, man, we've been trying to go. We've we, we, we been watching y'all on the live. I'm like, I never would have thought he was like, yeah, man, y'all been talking this, telling us this for years. Let's see, one Mark DC said, LOL, nah, not the snail. Yeah, Mark. Snail. It's and a, and a they be snake. hitting him like a delicacy, but like pow, pow, man, look. They said it was full of protein. Oh. <laughs> Peter O'Say <laughs> said it's an acquired taste. Yes, it is. <laughs> yeah, you're yes, right, man. Yes, it is. Lamar Blackwell, what's up? Yo! What's up? What's up, Lamar? Uh, okay, Jack. Okay, Jack. Miss Jack and Shades is chopping it up. Okay, keep going. Oh, need and drop some on us now. Need say, need say, 
snares are anti-aging and beautification. Oh man, I'm glad to start. Well, just, no, we ain't. We just gonna have to rub it on our face. <laughs> Oh man, you said don't be laughing at me, man. That's all right. I stay with my black sofa shape, brother. Uh uh. Peter will say, say, snails are good for you. Oh, Pete, come on, man. <laughs> How do you eat them? Do you boil them? How do you eat them? Crown I'm sure they with made like a, it probably tastes like a mushroom or something. Ooh. Sherry, what you doing? Sherry, no. She said, I love grilled octopus. Oh, man. Okay, well. Ooh, I just can't see it. <laughs> Sherry, is it, do you like it spicy or you like some gravy on it? How you some do cayenne that? pepper. What you got to put on it? Because <laughs> I know they use kebab powder in Ghana a lot. So I like kebab powder. Ooh, like a, no, but we can eat the mushroom and it'll taste like a snail. Oh, my goodness. That oh, that's shade, shades of Miss Jackie's chapter. Okay. Okay. Kwame, Kwame, what's up, Kwame Olutanji? Yo! How are you? Morning, morning. Oh, interesting. Hey. You're welcome, welcome. Watch it. Watch you. Okay. Everybody's speaking to each other. You just yeah. better keep going. I am. Oh, okay. She said, thank you. It's pronounced Princess Angel. Okay. I'm okay. sorry. I'm sorry. Get I got right. you, Princess Get Angel. Right. That's his job. That's his job on the chat. Thank you. Okay, now that I look at it, I was looking too fast. I see how it, I see how it's broken down, Princess Angel. I got you. Thank you. My Thank eyes you, was moving faster than my mouth. David Sample said African Americans should concentrate on construction and Ghana real estate also. That's a that's a uh yeah that's a definite too. Yeah. <clears throat> because those things, those two things right there, man, are definitely can help us root ourselves to the ground. Yeah, and show we how need as many of any, as many construction companies, as many of uh, what you call the people that's licensed contractors, contractors, um, electricians, plumbers, uh, people, the um, duck men, people that put the duck up, up in the uh, in companies like in commercial properties and stuff like that. Well, I would say it's not that we do some suburban farming, just planted some zucchini, cabbage, Swiss chard, mint Ooh. herbs, and other yummy goodies. Y'all will have to come out and see our little garden and what we're growing. We sure okay. will. We okay. sure will. Look, I'm right proud out of there. my look. I got me some little greens growing in the window and some celery. I am so proud of my little greens. Babe, could you bring one over here for me? Oh, man, we had to stir the greens, throwing our folks the greens. Ain't no man. Good, man. You have to find it. Let them greens relax. They got picked in. I just wanted to show my Gary stuff Bruce said, what up, family? I'm oh, going to get them little man. greens. He's so man. Show her greens out, man. I'm trying to eat them <laughs> greens. Let them rest. <laughs> Derek, go. what's up, man? Hey, Derek. Derek what's bro. up? Leticia J says, what part of Ghana did you two settle in? Me and my husband have a place in Jolu Accra. Oh. oh we, was at, we was at like uh, by Achimoto. We almost stayed in Jolu before. Yeah, we did. But that's a story for oh, other day. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> but uh, congratulations. <laughs> yeah, Jolu, y'all in, in the midpoint area. Y'all get uh, two minutes from everything. Mm -hmm. yep. uh, Jolu used to be like that maybe what ten years ago it was the like the biggest yeah and Jolu was like area the spot. up and coming art, area artsy stuff was going on now in it's Jolu. East Lake on now yeah mm -hmm. so we was in Achimoto so once traveling through going through to the restaurant we passed right past the uh, intersection to make the left off of to into Jolu mm -hmm. almost every day yep mm -hmm. Let me do a quick friends you that far behind no yeah. <laughs> he said, "No, nah, yeah. Which <laughs> one is it?" <laughs> okay, okay. I'm gonna go through if the other comments. Everybody's shopping over each other. Okay. <clears throat> you said, "Say, man, I'm great. Just a lot of nonsense going on. I can't wait to catch that flight. Have anyone heard anything regarding flights from California? I know I haven't. I haven't heard, especially international flights. I, I know it's some domestic stuff going on, but international flights, I haven't heard nothing. And, and like uh, uh, a lot of people that have uh, booked their tickets have said that." They got uh flights in, in out of Turkish Airlines leaving uh internationally. So I don't know if they are they already have pre warned them that they'll be open by that time or what. I don't know, yeah. but they're saying the end of July or I mean June and July. So 
Parabo said, Charlie, what day happened? Hey, Whoa. what's happening, Parabo? Greetings. What's going on? I'm in hotel. America's burning down. Time to leave. <laughs> <laughs> in line. I smell the flames right now, we bro. We smell smoke, baby, everywhere we turn. Ten million going back home to Africa, though, by next year. Mark, what I tell y'all, because yeah. everybody is on the Africa tilt. As soon as these borders, oh, it's gonna be a flood, a drove, and droves of us going home. And all we gotta do is remember, we go home, we integrate, we try to. We integrate. are integrating. This is the risk your mind stage. That's one thing that you know you have to do. I know I had to do it personally too, even though I loved Africa to the bone before I got there, and Ghana in particular. I had to make sure that I was able to risk myself out, empty my cup. It's like you said, if you're a martial artist, anybody practice any type of discipline, when you learn something different, you have to empty your cup and be receiving for what you're gonna gain. Yeah, all the knowledge that you're gonna gain, so you can't go. Well, I like this done like this, and da, 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 da. we're not doing that. We're on the whole other side of the word. Nee says it is scientifically it is scientifically proven. Oh, are uh, you talking about uh, uh, you said say LOL snails though? Anti aging, really? Uh, Baby, uh, Nee says scientifically proven, man. We're gonna have to get some snails, bro. No, what I'm doing is black soap <laughs> shea butter. That's all the anti-aging and all that stuff I need. No, that's what's been oh, working so far. Man, doing man. a good job. I can't do the snails. See, Sharon said, I like the way the Greeks and the Southern Italians do the octopus. No cayenne pepper. <laughs> oh, okay. So it's like a savory-like uh, situation going on. Okay, I Sharon, let me ask you this. I'm, 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 try I'm, I'm trying to feel the octopus thing. The you ain't gonna consistency eat or the texture of the octopus. Is it shrimp? Is it fish? Is it chicken? You know, know everybody say it. everything <laughs> tastes like chicken. You got to say chicken because <laughs> that's how oh, everybody oh, compare man. everything to because that yard bird ain't nothing to play with. <laughs> oh, my I think chicken. They, I think they think chicken. They be like, that chicken? It like chicken. Ooh, crack that crack. chicken. Just taste like chicken. <laughs> Oh, I said, okay, I'll make sure I go through everybody. So everybody's chopping yes, up with each other. So thank you. Up, okay. Catch up. Say, mm -hmm. kids, some fellas, yes, I have an eye for why people buy and would love to bring my skills to an e-commerce platform in Ghana. E-commerce? Hey, man, let me tell you something. <clears throat> Ghana is a place to be when it comes to anything in the IT field, technological field. You can definitely find there was a lot of young startups going on in Ghana, and it's Ghanaian owned and operated too. And if you're talking about getting Ghanaian products and e and do e-commerce online and and shipping internationally, look, it's wide open. It is start wide looking open. them up now. Yeah. As a matter of fact, uh, we'll put some feelers out see if we can find some comments. So next time we come on, we could just if we can find some in that field, just put them out there so you can check them out too. Just go on the website, just Google around. In Ghana and stuff like that, and you'll find out. You'll find it. You'll yeah, find out. Yeah, because it just really depends on what it is that you want to. Uh, if you want to do e exporting, you know, uh, this it's open. Oh, we didn't get behind. Okay, let's see. Michael said Ghana Parliament just legalized the hemp portion of marijuana farming for export, and it doesn't take much to get started. With a minimum of thirty-five acres to start, you will make five hundred k. Send me an email. If it's your Michael, I will be sending you an email shortly. So what's your email address? I think I got it on my WhatsApp. You do? I think I do. Okay. Because we are. Uh, oh, yep. He just put it right. <laughs> that thing is right on my own. On that thing, boy. <laughs> okay. okay. Oh, oh. mbotha at gmail.com. B O T A H at gmail.com. <clears throat> Yep, and thank you for that because we have uh, acquired some some farming land that was donated to us for farming, so we definitely can do that. We have access to that many acres, so that's awesome. Uh, Leticia J said, "Have y'all ate at Jam Rock in the crowd? The food is so good. We was at, we was look where Jam Rock is. Okay, if you're standing right in front, if you're facing Jam Rock, straight up looking right in front." Two houses to your left is a place called Canvas. And Canvas, where we will always go, is like an art, uh, vegan brunch type thing on Saturday. So every time we was over there, we always was at Canvas. 
We I, I got some Lamuji ones from Jam Rock. Well, we had planned on going to yeah. Jam Rock, but and then we got yeah, locked up in the house. And we didn't get sense. Yeah, but Jam Rock used to be in another space somewhere else, and recently I don't know how long they've been. Yeah, in. moved over there. They moved yeah. over there, so or they had like another location. Right. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Rooted in royalty says, "Can you can you all please tell me what helps with energy since you all don't eat meat? With energy, uh, any of the ginsengs and, and mix them. When I say mix them, I don't mean all three ginsengs at once. If you do Siberian ginseng, uh, sal palmetto, maca. <clears throat> and maca powder, or so you could even do maca powder and orange juice or any juices like that. Yeah, sea moss and bladder rack. Yeah, definitely, and it won't give you a crash. Any of them mm -hmm. things we mentioned will give you that after crash, like and busy, busy, busy. Cola nut. Yes, the shave cola nut. That's stuff. Rooted and raw to do that. That's that's the one. Busy, it'll give you a boot and drink it just like coffee. Mm -hmm. Cause you get it shaved like that, you can just put it in your cup, pour some hot water on top, cover it. Some people like to put a little taste Here's of honey, give you but a I, burst of I'm energy. talking about like, <laughs> boom, like that, right quick. <laughs> and if you mix, because uh, uh, our uh, people tell us that it's best to take use herbs in combination. So yeah. you, you get you some Busy, get you some Maca, and maybe a Ginseng, three of them, mix them together. You do like a teaspoon per cup. Yeah. Oh, you own and popping. Yeah, That's all straight. the energy you need. You never got to worry about no coffee, no caffeine, no nothing. And one thing too that uh, another little trick to help with energy, if you were someplace that has some good vitamin C fruits, anything like oranges or mangoes, even uh, I don't know about the vitamin C content in mangoes, but I'm pretty sure it's high, and I know it's good in potassium too. But eat something like that in the morning, just a little bit, give you a natural little little pectin boost. Bam, you be in there. I'm telling you. Mm -hmm. Indeed, say so, can't wait to move to Ghana. I am a radio radiologic technologist, and also getting my MSc, my master's degree in renewable energy. Looking into business opportunities. Oh man, you got all the business opportunities right there already, bro. <laughs> oh, sis, I'm sorry. I, I love it. I yeah. love it. That's perfect. Renewable that is, energy. Renewable energy is going on. I mean, they're using the turbines. Uh, what else? I mean, whatever you can do to make some solar, you know, just get ready. It's 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 great. It's a good ass idea. David Sample said, "AA is African Americans should focus on the one on one industry or sector and flood it. Maybe try and become the new merchant class of Africa. Take it over from the Indians and Lebanese. That's exactly right. And I'm gonna tell you, I have been looking at the uh the clothing market." Like how we do clothes because Africa and Ghana is flooded with a lot of secondhand clothes. And if we could get textiles and people that's using African fabric, I'm talking about as far as like the designers and stuff like that too. It's more, more fast than what I'm about to say. The designers coming to do that and make that market and boom it up. We go in, we start selling, we start opening up stores. Boom, boom, boom. I got one brother that's doing it. He's out of Vegas. It's called New, Warrior, New World Royalty. So if you can get online, Check New World Royalty out, and he's using all African fabrics from the country and African tailors, but the brother making some. When I'm talking about fly, ooh, flyness, and it got the flavor like how we like stuff in, uh, you know, on our side here in the States, too. You got the African fabric with some of the designs mixed up together, like an African uh, diaspora mix on the, on the, the clothing design, super, super fly. And uh, some some corner stores and grocery stores. If you yes. can do some corner stores, yes. like we know how we do corner stores, grocery stores, mom and pop little stores like that. Hey, you ain't you wouldn't spend a fraction of what you would spend for that in the in the U.S. trying to create that type of store. And we grew up with the mom and pop stores and the. And the grocery stores, we had black-owned grocery stores here in Memphis. Uh -huh. We had them. I mean, and everywhere else, everybody have experienced black-owned grocery stores, gas stations, all of that. Now, there's one thing I can say. There's a nice amount of black gas stations owned by Ghanaians in Ghana. Yeah. And if you have uh, ever known, if being in the States, you didn't get a chance to see that. We got a chance to see that down south. We had several black owned uh gas stations you know what i'm saying corner stores and grocery stores that had 
you know, Chisholm Trail, Chisholm's, oh, yeah, uh, and the, what was the too. other name for it they had on uh Third Street? Was it Maxi? Maxi's, yes, yeah, Maxi's. yes, Maxi Foods, big grocery store. You know what I'm saying? That was owned by a black family. Yeah. They had done real well. They had a daycare. They had one of the biggest daycares in 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 Memphis, and you know that's what we we need to gain back and we can do the same thing there because we cannot palace out the box we cannot you know what i'm saying yeah, these people that's a uh, palace is a, a big uh chain it's like mm -hmm. walmart is to us in the states it's like that so uh -huh. mm -hmm. and they 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 I, they started out with it very very expensive prices and now since we've been not seeing it the prices is kind of coming back they, coming they down. come down because it's a lot of more stores uh -huh. it's a lot it's of a lot more of stores a lot of competition so they couldn't keep them high prices up to stay open lamar black will say you guys are the definition of god and what we are and i thank you looking at flights for my 21st wedding anniversary that's right uh -huh. oh that's so <clears> wonderful <throat> and thank you madasa pop 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 for, for sure. that uh they're beautiful, those beautiful words. We appreciate it. We appreciate it from the heart. Yes, thank you. Yes, yeah, so we are turning our regular hobbies, our regular occupations, things that we've always desired, we had dreams about of doing, and we never knew that we would be able to do it in our lifetime. And now we're all going home, so we'll be able to do everything in our lifetime. So let's talk about it. Let's get it done. Let's see how we're going to do it and let's uh, put it out into the atmosphere so that we can make sure that it happens. Let's see, Rudy say anyone have direct contact direct contact with a Cebu village, the free free land? I do. Yeah, we do. That is uh, through a uh, Sankofa Repatriation Assistance Program. My sister, Yah, she can uh, help you with that. She is actually one of the persons that is responsible for issuing out. Uh, the land so get with her on her channel she has a website as well okay everybody's chopping up with each other that's so wonderful oh. okay go to the light up baby i am hmm, I ain't doing oh <laughs> so Foggy wants to say, I can't get myself to eat snail <laughs> my mom used to eat it but when she did it was by herself we weren't trying to participate in that, hello. <laughs> See? <laughs> I'm glad to know I ain't by myself. We ain't by ourselves because, oh, man, I just man. don't know. I just don't. I can't. And I'm one of the people I hate telling people no. <laughs> the sisters here at the market be like, oh, would you like snap? I'm like, oh, no, no, dive me, 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 dive you still say exactly, exactly. LOL, they got some herbs that regrow your telemores, and that's how you live much longer. The motherland has them. Yeah, it's plenty of them, so we ain't got to eat no snails. Keep it going, baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Princess Angel said, Future, if you wanted to open a salon in Ghana, do you have to attend one of their beauty schools and become licensed? No, uh -uh. Uh -uh. no, you straight. You got your cosmetology license. You good to grow. Yeah, good we had, go. we had, we had, was opening the shop in Ghana one time. We had bought chairs and sinks and everything. We went to the, the uh, was that like the uh, Beauty Depot where they had all the equipment mm -hmm. in and dance them? And dance them. And dance them. Mm -hmm. They had a beauty school there too. Yep. But yeah, no, you can go, you can open up a school if you want to. It's up to you. Yep, for real. Yep. That's, oh, that's, what did I just do? Oh, my, I, my. Yousef says, I heard about the hemp law in Ghana. I'm interested because I'm a grower. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm definitely coming. We have been bro. watching some videos, too, uh, uh, lately about, about the hemp. About so, Yousef, uh, if you're a grower, you know, okay, they, it's the law by being the hemp plant. And the actual uh, marijuana plant. So in Ghana, I know it's something about the 0.3% uh, of TAC. It has to be less than 0.3% on of TAC if you're growing hemp for hemp production in Ghana. I know that's part of it, but it's a uh, <clears throat> association called the Hemp Association of Ghana. You can look them up, and uh, they're the people that was, was on the forefront for their legislation and stuff like that, bro. Like I said, it's called the Hemp Association of Ghana, H-A-G. 
Sherry says, is there any nightlife at Cape Coast? Uh, yeah, uh, it's not. Let uh, me see. It's not like. <laughs> it's not like a cry. I'm gonna not say like that. a cry. No, no, no. It's but people like, do have events and throw parties and stuff like that. They don't. But as far yeah, as like, a, 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 well, well, it's some drinking spots. Yeah, it's that's what I'm about to say. Now the drinking spots. The drinking spots. Now, how can I, we just scratch cherry in New York? So let's see. Okay, they like like a cookout. You know, would be like if you had a, a family over to the house in the backyard, and then it's everybody. A drinking spot? No, I'm just explaining to her what what a, a drinking spot would look like, an outside drinking spot. You know, they can have the, the little lights outside, the little LED lights and stuff outside, and the grill in the front. Wait, I was going to explain my, my kind, and then you can explain <laughs> your kind. Hey, <laughs> man. <laughs> what the. Yeah, Lee, why you let me get my thought out? I'm sorry, baby. No, that's all right. No. Mm -hmm. Beautiful black mm -hmm. thought. Bring it over here. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, let me explain. Oh. Then he goes interrupt me and say, that's not that chicken back. Dang. Go ahead, baby. Uh oh, I'll just let that. It's events that go on. So like and it's some drinking them. spots, regular yeah. drinking spots where people hang out. Yes. Yeah, music be on. They just go there and get some shots. But as far as the nightlife, like clubs, different uh, clubs to go to and stuff, that's all in the crowd. But <laughs> if you want to go there and you want to open up a joint. People will come. People will come. It will be nice because it ain't it's not, a, many, it's not, it's we, not many there. What was it? We, had a, uh, we had a Kwanzaa celebration on the roof. And we had about 50 people up on top like of the, the roof club. of the house. It was like the club. Them yes. folks, they was watching the quads. It was a lot of some elders up there, too. They was like this. They was watching the quads. And we had a little quads celebration uh, video playing. When they went up, we turned that music on. Oh, boy, them jokers was pop. We, we in between <laughs> Cape Coast and Elmina on the coast. These folks is getting down, doing the electric slide. The <laughs> The shuffle, then we threw some hot life on up there. That Blake got the bump in it, boy. That was, my, hey, look. <laughs> Elders, I think we was the youngest people at the party. Uh, oh, Michael talking about this. But, but, ooh, Ox Tales at Gen Rock. Sasha, five peace and blessings. Sasha, what's up? Hey, what's up, Sasha? Okay. Welcome, y'all. Welcome. Make sure y'all put them thumbs up. Where the thumbs at? Oh, everybody's talking to me. ND, ND, Sherry, Shay, okay. ND. Uh oh. Come on. Now, you getting behind mine. This is power. Okay, everybody's just talking to each okay. other and having a good time while you mess with me. You said, say, exactly business, manufacturing facilities, and education centers are my focus because I even want to break into the media and fashion industry. Oh, mm. you can break right in, bro. Yeah, look. It's, it's a, real, it, the real. sky is unlimited. <laughs> it's unlimited. Pass there. So, Pogba says, many people don't know that Africa is the new economic frontier. In the West, you have to create cutting edge ideas to start a business. Because all basic products and services already exist. Uh -huh. Yes, and it's and it's, it's right totally uh dominated by the European, and it's, it's disgusting. Now you'll be able to do whatever. You can be the the one. You can be the second. You can be the fifteenth one. It's just so big in Ghana in Africa. Period. You can never have enough. They would say, I really like the idea of gas stations and truck stops on the main roads between Accra, Kumasi, and Takarati. Oh, Look, yes. let me tell you something. We ride but from, from uh, Accra to Takarati. It's one stop that that bus makes. And it's at a, at a gas, it's at a filling station. And you think you about... You said Accra to Takarati or yeah, Kumasi? Uh, I'm Kumasi. I meant to say Kumasi. I'm, I'm sorry. Kumasi. I'm Accra to Kumasi. It's one stop that all of the VIP buses, the VVIP buses, and the other Utong buses use. And they stop there. So just imagine a bus full of people every hour or two bus, two to three bus full, full loads of people every hour on the hour, day in and day out. And it's like a, a shopping center has been created. It's vendors. <laughs> it's a food, restaurant. Fruit, Look, remember everything. when we was first riding the, the uh, VIP going to Kumasi? 
It was nothing going that way. Nothing. nothing. It was just rural. Just straight dog. Straight. Especially if you rode at night. Yep. Straight, straight dog. And we went through that one 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 time. We was like, you know, getting set in for the start seeing lights. We like, oh, okay. They got the little thing, little pub on the side, all of the gas station. All of the gas station. Money maker, bro. Yeah. Lamar Blackwell <laughs> said it was like that in Milwaukee. We were more African then. I remember growing up, going to Woolworth with my grandfather in oh. 75. He took me there because he couldn't go. Man, look. We had a, was that Woolworth we had? And yeah, Zares. And, and, uh, Zares. That's Don't the play with Zares. Zares. We had Woolworth here too in the Southland Mall. Yeah, we did. That joint had everything in there. I used to like to go in and just walk around and look at the toys and the toy department and the birds and the animals. That's when the store had everything in one. What's that the store you used to go to with your granddad when Skags. you were little? Skaggs. S K A G G S. That joint had a toy <laughs> department in the flow. Was that a Jewish or German or Skags? Skags is Wags. What, what is it? I don't know what Skags is. It's some kind of, I think it's some kind of Eastern European thing. Okay. Let's see, Kwame says, a Cebu Village land, also a brother called E. Cal Simpson, who is on YouTube. Yeah, we had, the, uh, we had E. Cal, was we on his show? He was on, he was on, he was on here. He was on us, and we, we had the most horrible, the horrible, most horrible reception, reception in the world, that man. Day. And that But that brother hard. doing some very, But well, we going to bring him back things. on real soon. You said, say, they need big and small industries, big and small businesses. It's an endless amount of opportunity. You're it's right. true. It's so true. So <clears throat> and true. Because of the vast amount of area, too. Kwame say, I was very impressed with both of your uh, rapping and singing. Wow. Oh, uh, thank you, thank man. You. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Appreciate so it, much. my brother. You got a whole bunch of more stuff to come out, too, man. I'm telling you. We got music for sale. Oh, if that's just what Rudy was asking me about. Say, how can I buy you all music? Oh, <laughs> just send me an email. Live my best life in Ghana at gmail.com, and I can get it to you yep, and we'll give you all the details. Yep. Yes. Yep, yep, yep. See, Shane say, are y'all tracking? Botswana starting to block foreign business owners, not diasporans. What? See, that's what I'm talking about, man. What? I'm telling y'all, 10 million us going Botswana back home this South year. South Africa. And that's South Africa. So live. So. We going home, y'all. We hitting the, we hitting the uh, continent running. You Let me hear tell me? y'all something. If we can win South Africa, we have a strategic Africa advantage. That's all I'm gonna say about that. South Africa, strategic African advantage. Kwame says, saw you guys on St. Kofa Repat Tuesday. Yeah. Yes, that's I had a ball too. Yes, thank you. Yep, I had a ball. Okay, that's what I just read. Went back. Michael said, American style baker shop would do very well in the high end areas of cross since there's a higher number of expats and where do people live in there? Oh, that's true. That's true. I mean, <coughs> the bakery shops that we used to, we, we, ha we need them. We need, I'm trying to get one of my sisters to, uh, to make sure she opened up her bake shop when she get there. Cause she used to sell bake, you know, um, different cakes, cakes and, and stuff here. all kinds of stuff here. And I told her, and she does it so easy and so simple. I told her, it, you don't need to be doing nothing else but thinking about how you're going to open this bakery up. And stuff in the food industry in Ghana will boom so well because of the abundance of fresh fruits and vegetables. Yes. The purity of the food, buying, being able to buy your food from the people that grew the food or the people from a group that grew the food. It ain't five, six generations down the line is invaluable. Let me tell y'all mm -hmm. something. When I when we first started going to Ghana, because we love vegetables. I remember when it was hard to find a red bell pepper, or green bell pepper, you know what I'm saying? Butternut yep. squash, all of those alkaline fruits that we're used to or accustomed to here in the States. Now all of that stuff is in Ghana growing abundantly. We get Man. it out of the markets, you can get it at the stores. It's just the very few things that's, that we're not accustomed to that's not available. And now, bring your seeds. You can grow your own, whatever it is that you need. Just bring seeds to start you something. I mean, and there are seeds in Ghana, too. A lot of people don't know that, but you can get, <coughs> there's a botanical garden, and there's, 
uh, one in a brewery and there's one in Hacho. You can get seeds and plants and there's plenty of nurseries you everywhere. You the garden, we went to the, the uh, thing in. Mm-hmm. Man, they had a plant. I, we went on a brother's walk through the botanical garden. I seen a plant that looked like the Feed Me Seymour plant. That jungle was about seven, eight feet tall with a big bulb on the top of it. It looked like mm-hmm. lips. <laughs> and it looked like if you got too close, it opened up and pop. It's what it looked like. Now, I'm not saying that's what it did, but it's what it looked like. I don't know what it was. I forgot. But it was an awesome, uh, awesome site. Mm-hmm. You said, say, manufacturing hemp is a million dollar industry. That I want to get into. To grow hemp for products and materials. You can even make hemp suits. I'm with it, bro. We're going to get into that, too. We're going to get into that. If y'all, if, uh, Michael, I know you said, was that Michael? Yeah. Michael Bowtie, I know you was talking about that. If it's something that we all can come together and do in the hemp industry. Uh, we need to talk so we can organize something in that uh, round too. Y'all remember, I'm going to say it again. I talked about Dachi Love. Where I have a new uh, YouTube channel I, I put together for the sisters. Brothers, you can join and you got to look from a photo. But we're going to be interacting with one another. And Dachi Love is for the purpose of self-care for sisters. It's for healing, it's for repair, it's for uh, love, interest, it's for getting ready for love, it's for if you in love and in a relationship you and you want to be. Are you in love? Is this a poem? Dodge love. It's a commercial. <laughs> <laughs> I got to put him on a commercial. <laughs> but yes, and the, the, the channel is going to stay private. You have to be a subscriber to have access to the content. I have not posted up anything at this time, but when I do, I got some pretty good ideas for this channel because I'm I'm glad of the fact that I can keep it very secretive and uh, you have to be subscribed to be able to be a part of it. So sisters, get ready. Get ready. (laughs) Sherry say, no, I mean places to dance and drink. I like an active social life. Social life. Yep, that's what we was talking yep. about them drinking spots. And if you want to dance at the drink spot, they're going to be, they gonna be gonna dancing be, now. It's going to be some dancing. It's but so if you're real. talking about some nightlife, what we do and how we do it in the States, you had to go to a prop for that. We didn't even went and party on the side of the gas station. On the side of the gas station, <laughs> going from uh, yep. Cape Coast, going to yep. Elmina. That's like a little. The club. shell on the side is like a little club. They got the nice grills. They got the big patio out there. They got the big. Projected that shoot the, the games up on the side of the wall of the yeah, gas so station yeah, outside. That's, that's a good one. And folks is outside dancing and drinking. They had one, maybe one maybe thing, two in the morning. Two or three. Especially on the weekend. Then you know the other chick at the end of the spot where the house used to be? Uh-huh. <clears throat> if you come out the old uh, house, yeah. make it right, and then yeah. the right right here. I thought that one had it closed down before a long time ago. Remember? I thought she had it open. Because it was called, had the, she had, had the little figurines on the thing, uh-huh. yeah, on the side of the building. Yeah, there might be a couple of spots there, and Cape Coast is not really that big, so you might be able to find something. Let's see, Rudy Roy, Roy, Roy said, last question. Where, other than a crowd, will it be a, would it be okay place to open a full service salon? Let me say, other than a cry, Cape would be my next guess. But no, reason I, I say you know Kumasi. You say Kumasi? Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. I take that back. I take that back. Kumasi. Because mm-hmm. Kumasi is another larger, larger city. Yeah, it's very large. And they they got flair, they got flavor, and and yeah. even even I would think that Tema Tema might be a possibility too. Uh-huh. Tema is right outside of Accra. It's not far, and a lot of people live in Tema that you know come to Accra out every day, yeah, all it's, day. It's not so far. It's at not all. far at all. So uh-huh. try. Timber would be a good choice, and it's uh yeah, more economical. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 mm-hmm. And there's a lot of diasporans that live in Timber. A whole lot. Pocket Boy said, it's been a while since I lived in Cape Coast boarding school, but it wasn't known for nightlife. There right. was one club called Jet Club. We would sneak out of campus and go there <laughs> to Jet Club. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I was saying. It's yeah, like, but it's it should be Cape a little more now. Back. But yeah, yeah, they it's more drinking spots. And, and then stuff they have stuff, anything. different stuff be happening at like the uh, the guest house. Like one Africa always got something going on. You might go down there and catch a band and uh one Africa. I mean, I said one Africa did one. Africa. 
Mabel's, Mabel's table. tables, yeah, Mabel's table. And then the armor tree, they had something going on. It's just selected. And then the other place, all the way down, uh, what is it? Is it uh, the other hotel? You know what armor tree is, right? When you come out of the side street and you go to the left, or we used to go to the bank, that big oh. African owned joint right there on the coast, right there on the coast. They be having a lot of stuff yeah. going on there. Yeah, what is that called? Coconut or something? It's a coconut grove. Now the coconut grove was the one that was closed down across the street from my house. Okay. So it was all down. Yeah, I, I had to think of it, but it's another larger resort like hotel. They've been Maybe one of y'all can on. help us with that. I don't know. I can't remember the name. Coconut Grove. Yep. The first thing that popped in my head. You said so you can open up in any city in a, in Africa. You are right. And that's how we, that's how that's how I'm thinking too, man. I wanna I wanna do it big. I wanna do big stuff in Africa. Sherry said, "No, nah, I guess I find my way to a crowd. I want a slower pace than NYC, but I'm not trying to come to a screeching halt." <laughs> Man, I like that, Sherry. I like, that, Sherry. I like right. the way you talk. <laughs> because even if you want to cry, you can go outskirts. Like where we were staying at this past, it was cool. It was laid back. It was in the cut, and it was cool. But it, the only thing about where we were staying at was the yeah. Damn traffic in the drive, but if you time it right, you get your timing right. It's traffic everywhere, baby. Well, I'm saying if you go early and then you if yeah, you come no, back, you we, come we, back later. You had to time. That's what I'm talking about. Time the traffic. I think it was like good <clears> early <throat> in the morning and right. about three o'clock, and then after that to about nine. Yeah, well, that's the timing of it. Yeah, yeah, early morning to to, to three in. and uh. It's about nine. Let's see. Anthony says, uh, have you ever spent a night in Kumasi? How is the night in Kumasi? Yeah, we spent a lot of nights in Kumasi. Yeah, we is it was <laughs> nightlife is Lisa had yes. a nightlife. Yeah, there. you remember that big spot we yeah, went to the, head, the JJ Rollins statue in that joint? Yeah, job? we went to <laughs> Man, they got a little square in Kumasi partner. Where it's like a little mall, but it was it's kind like, of mind you of like what downtown would be like when you go downtown. It's like yeah, a place, yeah, that a you go to a lot of stuff in one. Kind of busy, yeah. Mm -hmm. So we had clubs, restaurant, different restaurants, clubs. clubs, like some kind of arcade like yeah. deal set up. It was nice. It was nice. Everybody mm -hmm. was up in there hanging out. Now I'm gonna tell you something. If you go into Kumasi, you better get your tree up, because in Kumasi people like to speak their language. They speak English too, but I'm just saying they like the language. Anthony, your boy, say hello, family. What's up? Yo, Anthony, Anthony what's up? What is, what welcome, welcome back. Y'all, where we at on the thumbs up? We had 37 people. Let's get some thumbs up. Everybody's chopping it up with each other. Where we at on them thumbs? Yep. You said so Africa is so ginormous, all other countries can fit inside Africa, so the economic value is there. It sure yes, is. Yes, it is. It makes the whole <laughs> world go round. And have a little room left over, probably. It is. If not, it's for sure. Not just probably. Come on now. Yeah, what you do? <laughs> Everybody <laughs> just have a good <laughs> You're throwing your little fingers at there. He's trying to act like he in control of something, man. Come on, man. Greetings, everyone. What's up, Cornita? Hey, Cornita. Welcome. Welcome. <laughs> Welcome. 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 Grocery stores, etc. Yes. If you see, if you set up these in multiple locations, it will be successful. You're right. Mm -hmm. Drive-in movers. I haven't seen a drive-in in, in yes. Ghana yet. Oh my goodness. Let's do it. Even if we start with our own independent African movies, that's all we need to play. Yep. We could even start a drive-in playing the old movies that we make from here, because they already on. They already out. I'm just saying. Play some old movies and build up to you. Your, your, your B movie, because you know at the, the drive-in they play the first movie, the headliner movie, then the B-rated movie, then the B-rated movie, then they play the headliner movie again. Yeah. yeah. Gonna get it. Then you ain't got to worry about nothing. It's going down. <laughs> what are you doing? You got to pee because I'm saying that was a good idea that he came up with talking yeah. about the that's maybe think about the 
that's the question drive me. And just think that you would easily be able to do these things with just capital or saving a, a nice amount of money. You can get you some land. I don't know how much you need a, a acre or two acres or five acres of land. Uh, really, really at a good price outside of a crop because a drive in, you wouldn't have to put that in a crop. You can put that outside of a crop. On the other side of Casa or something like that? Yeah, oh, like that. Wager. Hey. I mean, somewhere mm. off in that a beach or can anywhere. A drive in by Wager Lake. Okay, two, two. Sasha Pfeiffer said, need to get need the info to get ready for my first trip home. I'm homesick, like for real, for real. I need you two in my life. <laughs> <laughs> you we, got you us, got Sasha. Us. We are already here now. We are 100. We are here for you, for we sure. For real, for real, for real. Helen Johnson said, I'm a teacher and have been for 18 years. My focus is to open a school for students between grades 6 through 8 in Cape Coast. So it's tough. Oh, man. We need you, too. Serious. We, we had one uh one elder in the community that was in Cape Coast and around the surrounding areas. We used to just call it Big Mama. Big Mama had a school. Big Mama had a clinic. Big Mama had a farm. Big Mama had about two, three more other things, and they all were just in one area. She was like a grandmama boss for real. She from here, somewhere. she was from the states. Where was she? Where was she from? Was, she, was it Detroit? I just was in say Detroit. That was from Detroit, and her and her daughter is there now, Shakesha. That following her mama's footsteps. Yeah. So yeah, she was one of, and Big Mama looked like my she looked so much like my grandmama. It when I first saw, I was like, hey, look just like my grandma. She's the ancestor now. Yep, yep. Rest in power, Big Mama. Sherry says her cry is going to be oversaturated. Why doesn't anyone want to invest in Kumasi or the Central Region? I said Kumasi. I said Kumasi uh, <coughs> and Cape Coast. That's why I said if you want to. If you want these things to be somewhere, you can just go and do it yourself. That's that's how you become successful. Wherever there is a need, you fulfill that need. That's called supply and demand. I mean, right. it's easier. It's best to do that. Because actually, to go we was gonna, the shop that we was going to open was going to be in Cape Coast at Santa Lodge at Professor Small and Dr. Uh, Leonard Jeffries Hotel. Uh, we was going to open up there. And uh, we just had a, a series of other things. The, uh, the tide of things just changed. Nothing went wrong. We just ended up changing direction on what we had going on. We had some things happening. But uh, Cape Coast, because the, the, you had universities in Cape Coast. So if you go to Cape Coast in, in an area and you start something like a club, a nice club in Cape Coast, you're going to have a business. It's just getting the capital and getting it out the ground, get the land, get it out the ground, which is not hard. It's advertising and pocket. And it's, there's it's a right lot there. of uh, construction and, and development going on in Cape Coast, too. So, you know, it's just uh, it need you. You know what I'm saying? You want to hit it while you get on the ground and get in before it get popular. This is the perfect time. So it's a good thing that all of us are going home. We can fulfill wherever we are. We can make things happen wherever we feel like need to, we need to put in that area, wherever we end up at. Just make it happen. It really, it's really that easy. David Semper said, "Don't laugh, but public toilets and shower houses will make money." You're right. Hey, matter of fact, I'm where we were staying at, I am seeing a Where we were staying at uh, this time, David, we saw two trucks. Somebody had bought two big trucks, like uh, like it may have been like moving old moving trucks. That was at West Hill Nursing <clears throat> School. Yeah, yeah, West Hills Nursing School, and they converted them into shower and a toilet. And they were nice. It wasn't like shit. It was like portable. They could drive them up. Boom. They had the water hooked up to them and everything. So that's definitely an industry. Because you could tell the people that did, they put some time and money and effort into it, too. Yeah, it was beautiful. It was oh, really I don't nice. Know who I, did was, them. I was, I was very really, impressed. I really liked them. <clears throat> Let's see. Park Boy chopping it up with me, Sherry. Helen says, I have already asked our brother E. Cal Simpson if I could teach for a day at his school. He has granted my wish. See? Oh, yeah. See? That's this is what I'm talking about. Black integration is growing and it is real. It's getting bigger and bigger. We're just proud that we have our minds on on, on Africa and we have our minds on settling in. Because watch what I'm telling you. By next year, people think it's going to be one million 
people go, uh, living in Africa are going home, it's going to be more than that. I'll predict 10 million. I just want to say that. I'm putting it out there because it's a lot of us that are just ready for the borders to open up, to flood right. in. Y'all remember I said it's going to be a plethora of plethora. us going. It's going to. Everybody's chopping up, rooting and sharing. Larry Wilson said, greetings, fam. What's up, man? Hey, Larry. Greetings. All is well. All is well. No lockdown currently. Good. Okay. Good, good, good. Good, good, good. We're just on the watch. Let's see Pocket Boy in here. Oh, okay, Pocket Boy is uh, talking with Miss with Sherry. Yeah, make sure y'all put them thumbs up. We're going home. We're going to take out every day hobby things that we do with our eyes closed that we can do in our sleep and change it into a business in ghana or in africa wherever we land at we're going to take our occupation things that we are doing right now and we're going to transfer mm -hmm. them and turn them into a business in ghana or africa wherever we end up and then we're also just going to take a dream or something that you really admire somebody else doing and we're going to do it ourselves when we get home. Yep. How Jacqueline about Taylor that? Say, yes, there's a building material called hemp creep. What? I think we heard of hemp creep. I, I heard, that's the first time I heard of that. I heard somebody say something. But I'm going to tell you, with that, with that being said, uh, Jacqueline, as far as concrete is, is concerned, if we can get on a nice wave and start producing hemp creep, we run the level these out of business. They got the concrete I'm business telling uh, you, locked up on there. Come on, y'all. We need enough of those. <laughs> Everybody, we need to all. When we get somebody that can really uh put us on and get us straight when we hit the ground, like Michael Bo Bota, we want to make sure that we have uh the right information so that we can hit the ground running and run them out of business. I'm telling you, because that's what we are going to do remove all the foreigners, the need for all the foreigners, and so they can go back to their own country and try to sell rocks if they can, because they ain't going to be able to do nothing without Africa. Yeah. See, Shane, see, Miss Governor's chopping up, Mike. Yes, y'all, we are here. We are enjoying yeah. ourselves. We are talking about everyday hobbies. We're talking about our occupations. We're talking about things that we have dreamed of, have admired in business and other establishments Ooh, that we have Asian. been had access to. And we are just happy that like we that. are going to Africa, going home to the land of our ancestors. Say again. Now, so let we'll say he's in Asia, no lockdown. He on lockdown? No, he's in Asia. He says, greeting the family, all is well in Asia, no lockdown. Oh, okay. You said, say, I'm going to email you, King, in the morning. Okay, bro. I have so much to say because I'm already, I'm already about to bust some power moves. <laughs> Get him in, bro. Get him in, man. Get him <laughs> in. Hit me up. I'm gonna hit you back. I promise. Y'all make sure y'all subscribe to Dache Love. D A A K Y E Love. That's our new extension sister channel for the sisters. The brothers channel is coming soon. Thanks to Atu Kwame and I and, and Power is going to be doing a little something sprinkle. But anyway, <laughs> hello. <laughs> but anyway, Atu is going to handle that. But we are looking forward to bringing people together for relationships or uh, repairing and healing from old relationships, getting rid of, rid of all that old baggage and clearing ourselves so that we can get ourselves ready for love or the loves that we're in that we can be better mm -hmm. and that's what it's all about see sherry said i've seen videos <clears throat> of the events at one africa and mabel's table i'll wait until my parents visit because <laughs> that's what be there their age group be in there <coughs> excuse me oh man Everybody's chopping up pocket boy talking to Sherry. Let's see. Sherry said, I may I may rent closer to a crop. I'm definitely building a couple hours away though. Yeah. Because you had total peace of peace peace of mind outside of a crop. 
Sometimes we even cry. You don't need to go to cry every day. Right. You don't need to go every day. When you plan to go there, you just go. I mean, come right on up out of there. Come up out of there. And like I said, if wherever you build it, if you decide you want to create some kind of nightlife for you, that you would like, that you know that people would like to come to, don't hesitate because when people leave outside of cry, we be looking for something to do. We be looking for somewhere to go. And what other than to go to a place that we have created, you know? You said, say, LOL, I come in with thumbs up. Power, that's my G. <laughs> <laughs> that's what's up, homeboy, for real. I'm telling you, man, we're going to chop. I'm, I'm coming to the bay, man. I'm, I'm, I'm coming to the bay. I'm, talk, I'm coming. I'm going to parlay. We're going to kick it. Cheers. I love the way Future pronounces man. Too cute. <laughs> you know what she's talking about, man. <laughs> when I lived in L.A., my used to have people just be like, hey, look, they just call me Tennessee in L.A. Tia, Tia, Tia. Just say it, say it, man. Just say it, just say something. Just say, say, man. They be trying to say it. It sounded like, oh, man, man, M-A-N-E or M-A-I-N. One of the two. Oh, man. <laughs> Everybody said that was a good idea. Good idea. Facts. A drive in movie theater. Mm -hmm. Ooh, yes. Next door, to, Ghana. next door to the skating rink. Yes, because that is my dream. Future is going to build a skating rink. I am a skater. I've been skating since I was young, young. And I'm still young. I feel like I'm aging in reverse. So I got to give me a skating ring over in Ghana. You say if. I figure if you can save fifteen hundred dollars a month for investing on an individual level, that's a good start. That's a Ooh, damn good that's start. That's a great start. Shit, that's a day, hey, man. That's I'm a hell of a start. That's a hell of a start. That's enough to get you a structure up and off the ground. And what I mean up and off the ground, I mean from your base up and all then the way up. all the way up, and then you can start on your on guts inside. on the inside after mm -hmm. that. Yeah, for real, for real. In one year, it really is. Yep. So everybody's chopping up pocket boy this year and Sherry's chopping it up, chopping it up, chopping it up. So you said, so I'm going to Gambia and Tanzania, Tanzania and Switzerland. Those are my first stops. I'll choose where I'll settle down. That's right, bro. Swiss Swaziland. That's probably Swaziland, not Switzerland. Swiss, that's Swaziland. That's probably changed to the spelling yeah, you know of that when he that was writing. I was going to say Switzerland. Swaziland no, is definitely somewhere I'm very much interested in going to. I can't wait till we South get Africa. to the point that we doing so well, y'all, that we can get together and plan trips and country hop. <laughs> Man, we'll be country like, look, hop. Sherry, I'm going to meet you in Tanzania. Then we're going to bounce down there to Namibia. Man, what? And catch yourself uh, up in uh, when Morocco turned back black. In Morocco, and <laughs> man, look, I'm with it. Oh, Sherry, Swaziland. So I'm, I'm debating if I'm going to open a business. Or, or or just invest. I'm a little tired of the rat race. I'll see when I reach. That's right. Make your money when you get exactly. there. Exactly. Yes. You might just want to make your money, put tennis shoes on, and work for you. And that's how you do it, for real. We it's time for us to do what we want. We didn't we didn't been slaves. Oh man, we have servants and all that the crap. Servitude and, uh, is man, so over with. over with. It's so over with, man. I'm oh. telling you, it's so over with. The servitude atmosphere. I mean. It's a difference in courtesy and employment, you know what I'm saying, on the honest level, like we know. But the servitude, I'm so done with it. I'm sick of that whole, you know, that whole vibration of making people feel lesser than they really are and knowing that you couldn't operate if you did not have them. Exactly. People are valuable and we need to treat, not we. The foreigners and the invaders and colonizers have got to get their hands off our people. And we got to employ them so they can see that they have been Positive being vibes. used. Hey, guys. What's up? Positive hey. Vibes. Positive vibes in the house. Welcome. Y'all make sure y'all got thumbs up. Shay, what we looking like on stats? Y'all make sure y'all keep thumbing it up. We need to be thumbed up around here. Positive advice that we get the foreigners up out there. We sure do. That's what we working on a master plan. Yeah. We are. That's they what we doing. We, the environment, we, the animals, the bugs, everything gonna help us get them up out yes. there. Already we cornering the whole market. We gonna <laughs> smash them in and kick them out. Anthony said mobile fruit smoothie can be good business. 
can buy the fruits very cheaply and oh, cut and stored and refrigerated and used for smoothie. Most of them get rotten because they are not processed. It's true, and that's what that's one of the yep. business that we plan on when we get all our trucks over there, our food trucks and buses and all of that stuff. You can collect them now, or you can wait to get the gun. I actually have been looking them up on Tona Town. I found a nice amount of the same buses that I had we have here in the states. That, that are already in Ghana. I was really happy to see that. Jacqueline said you can even build beautiful modern homes with a 3D machine in Africa for real cheap. I hadn't even thought about that. What you say with your mouth? I hadn't even thought about that. The 3D what machine. You, say you can make we've anything with about the 3D, the 3D machine. machine. I need to get one of them. Ooh, we. I'm getting a 3D machine. I need so, that. <laughs> and that plastic cover. I I'm think it's, that. it's a 3D. You, the modern home is the one like that be on that they have mm -hmm. sitting on the table. Mm -hmm. We can build a city, a whole city like that. Yeah. Instead of the just a home, we can do a whole city like that. Okay, let's see what's it. So I said sell rocks, L <laughs> <Man. laughs> Girl, I'm hit the, hit the flow, fall out. <laughs> they need to. Funk and sell. Stick of them. I'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Prime device is 5.38 a.m. in London. God. Ooh. Prime device, what you doing up? You got to go to work or something? Prime device is Ghanaian. This fuck wake oh, up at night. No, yeah. I'm not for sure, but I know Ghanaians wake up with the roosters, baby. Well, so. too cold to be waking up so early. Oh, daddy. Hey, <laughs> man, go to sleep. <laughs> Five o'clock, six o'clock in the morning. You come in all loud, I be like, Ooh, "Oh, uh, daddy, uh, hey, uh, man, shut I, up, man." I said, "I too, uh, I too, uh, uh, daddy is grouchy in the morning. Don't oh, do that, man." You still say, "I looked into that." My way around it is, I'm going to put the uh, land in a trust and go into business with the Tanzania Tanzania family. There you go. Yes. That's awesome. Skin the cat. That's what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. That's the purpose of black integration. That's why I be telling our people exactly. about us going home to integrate. We going to uh, adopt families and be adopted, adopt villages one and be adopted. Advice. All of that. One love. For real, because that help us find our way around instead of us coming in and we stop fumbling and end up hating where we are because we're making mistakes that we mm -hmm. don't have to make. That um, we don't have to make if we yeah, weren't trying to be a uh, separatist. We ain't going home to be no. separated. We going to integrate. Because this is what the Chinese doing. These punks is coming to somebody else's house. They're just like I come to your house, uh, yourself, and say, look, I appreciate you for letting me stay here. I stay there, act nice. I clean up the kitchen, clean up the bathroom, you know what I'm saying, bring a couple plates to the house. Then I tell you one day, you come on. Look, you got to move. I'm sick of you. I don't want you to be here no more. I done, did, I done cooked for you long enough, man. I, I, I want you to go. I'm in your house. Come on, man. Blow me up and the house. I can't wait till all the African countries start throwing the Chinese out. I'm going to be, that's going to be a celebration for me when they start throwing these, these COVID carriers out of the country. Because they around right. here trying to turn it on us and they know it's they I'm but. About it's a black dude. Man, you don't get out of my face with this stuff. Ooh. We know where it came from. Sick of huh? Jack and Tessa, Anthony, boy, I was thinking of doing something like that because I'm a vegan chef. I'm, that, the food. Yeah. It's not Ms. enough. Jackie, the food Ms. truck Jackie. is brand new. The food truck thing is brand new in Ghana. It's brand new. It's time and it's perfect. So don't hesitate, sis. You can come on with it because we all going to be posted up. We're going to have flyers with our different trucks' names on them and advertising together so that <clears> people <throat> can have a variety. Just think about the food truck court in Ghana. Ooh, a food court truck, uh, truck court in Ghana would be awesome. Just get awesome. somewhere and circle all the food trucks in Ghana once we get all of them. There's not that many. It, but it, it can be more them, once all us get there. It needs to be more and, and more. Just up all the food trucks at Independence Square. A soul food truck, a vegan, a few vegan food trucks. Oh, Miss Helen says she just subscribed to Dachi Love. All right, now. Come on, Miss Helen. Come on, y'all. Yes. Dachi Love going to be a nice. We're going to burn the midnight oil with Dachi Love. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be asleep. Yes, that's right. I want him to be asleep. Like this.
Oh, boy, Shay say bowling alleys. My boy Tim is begging for one. Oh, my goodness. Man, look. Bowling alleys? What about a pool hall? Oh, yeah, that'll definitely do it. Y'all, we ain't getting There's no There's some pool. pool shooting jokers and going too, boy. Oh, so, Liz, we need a nice pool hall with some with a nice that's DJ what I want. and a dance floor. That's going to be in my club. Oh, yeah, that's right. We got to have more have than one, one pool tank. I'm going to have one, la- one level going to be all pool and billiards. Then the next level going to be hip hop. The next level going to be high life. And that third level going to be neo African soul Duke the Whale. Thought I was gonna say jazz, then I'm not. Uh, jazz is cool, but jazz is already in there. That's neo, where we get the samples I want, from. I want some uh, something that you be like, oh, what is that? Oh, <laughs> fresh, got your Africa fresh on up there with your little appetizer drink, palm wine in the carafes. Oh my goodness! <laughs> Anthony said, "There's always a." A lot of watermelon, pineapple, mangoes, etc. And trust me, it can Ooh, be good business. You ain't lying, yes. bro. Come on with it now. This is just beautiful. This information is flowing on this thing tonight. It's exactly what we need. It's the 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 the, the push and the force that we need to know that this we can do said. it. Sherry said ES has been asking for someone to be a skate rink. That's another good idea. Sherry, we already own that. I yes, got you on that that's one. my look. When I say my dream, <clears throat> that's one of my biggest, biggest. We topics. almost purchased one here in the States, here in, in Memphis. The yeah. old classic of uh, Crystal, uh, Crystal Palace. Palace. We was in negotiating with the guy that owned Crystal Palace and uh he was trying to dump a bad lemon on us. He's a so. crooked dog. Yeah, That's he what was. he was. He was an old, old sick, thank crooked, you. pink dog. They you were know, trying to dump <laughs> something on us, and we wasn't going. Okay. I'm telling you, y'all think you get scammed in after. These white folks ain't never stopped scamming yeah, black folks. So. And this is how they scam you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Uh, you say you what? Oh. You have a credit score? Oh, what? Oh. <laughs> oh, yes. As soon as you turn your back, they be back to your life. <laughs> Licking their fingers. They're going to stab you in your back every time. Don't trust them. If they say left, go right. I'm telling you, you know, it just take you to talk to somebody and you find out the truth. Right. It was it the was people that, that was working at the skate ring that had worked up under him all them years. They end up telling us to low down on that pink. Like don't y'all, don't y'all. He ain't straight. Don't do it. He is not straight. Like she says, if fifteen hundred is enough to start the foundation on the house, yeah, fifteen hundred, fifteen hundred U.S. dollars. Oh yeah, you gonna get your cement and some blocks for fifteen hundred. You sure will. And if you go, depending on where you at, you can get it for less than that. And you can also make your own bricks. That's a show. Now, cousin. you'll really come up with 1500 <laughs> that depends you... on, like, I won't say depends, but that's good, if, especially with the type of land that you might have. You can use the land right where you got. Dig and make your own blocks. Yes. Positive, positive vibes. Did you, do you know Namibia has passed a law that makes it illegal to own businesses as a foreigner? I don't doubt it. I don't doubt it at all. I don't doubt it at all. To no, no, own no. businesses? Uh-huh. I mean, somebody didn't somebody tell us that, but they said it was the it was foreigners. It wasn't that foreign. Was, I think that was earlier. I think somebody yeah, said that somebody earlier. said that earlier. They said that it wasn't. It was for foreigners, like the Lebanese and the, all the Chinese and all these folks that have been there and been been there for generations, at least three really? or four. Renee Milton, she must, she knew Renee. What's up, Renee? She's out here to love y'all. Oh, thank you, Renee. Thank you so much. Thank you. Ooh, thank y'all so much. Well, uh, oh, thank you. We love you too. And welcome, welcome, Aquaba to the channel. Medasa. Pause by. Okay, he said, I don't know what that means for diasporans. Yeah, pause by. I think that's what they was mentioning. Er, mentioning. Why are they keep doing that? Because you keep swooping your oh. hand across there. That's why you need to use the screen. Oh, okay. it's touch down. 
Jack, I'm telling you, so I'll put the 3D Machines video in our group chat. Yes, 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 Ooh, yes, yes. Come on with it, Jacqueline. <coughs> we, got, uh, we switched from uh, we, we switched from WhatsApp. We have gone to Soft Talk, which is Nigerian's own version of WhatsApp. We are proud that we are going to an African-owned messaging service. So shouts out to us for that. Because we sick of WhatsApp anyway. I'm sick of <laughs> Positive I said, guys, we on lockdown. Positive I, you in London, right? Yeah, I heard y'all can move around. Is that true to like the first a uh, whole year or yeah, something? Yeah, give us a description of what's going on and what they're telling y'all yeah, around there, too. Please let us know. You know, like uh, what what y'all can, what does y'all lockdown consist of? Is it like police on the streets? Are they allowing you to go get food? Or, you know, whatever yeah, situation what is that? Is. Because people that say that we need to make sure that we you know so we'll know and can disseminate information about what's going on with each other and where we are in our uh, respective places. Okay, everybody's out here chopping. Let's see, Pocket Boy say, just noticed the topic on the live chat. I'm a senior accountant who loves soccer. Play it every day, <clears throat> play it every Saturday here in Miami. I'm from Paga, Ghana. Kinsa. The Kasina, uh, Kasina ethnic group. Oh, Paga. So you want them dudes to be out there running for like two, three hours straight playing <laughs> soccer? Man, I, I, man, it just I, be beautiful. I'd be like, look at them brothers. Them brothers is strong. They got, they be lasting long out there too. We'd be like, man. I fell in love with this soccer, man. Me when I started too. seeing the soccer, I was like, man, this has got to be, it's like basketball with using your feet. You know what I thought about us doing? We got to tell y'all the story about when we went to the Africa Cup that one time. That's going to be a whole show by itself. Yeah. And I have actually been marinating on making it a movie. <laughs> that one magic ticket. You call it the magic ticket. Yeah. Yeah, we got to tell y'all. We, we, did we tell them about the magic ticket? Do we ever tell this story? I don't think so. If we did, we didn't go into detail, but this is something that might turn into a movie. It's about Dallas Forrest living in Ghana and end up with three. It was three of us, and we ended up with one magic ticket to the African Cup, and we <clears throat> all got in, and we was like on the sideline. What well, I'm Afri telling you, <laughs> it looked like 100,000 folks in that place. I ain't going to lie. It may have been like, it had to be at least 10,000 people. Y'all, I remember that story more. like it was yesterday. We got man, pictures. We look. can make that come and turn into a movie. We can make it come alive, baby. See, Positive Vibes said there's a brother on YouTube who said the Lebanese are going to chiefs in rural areas secretly and buying up land. See, not lying. It's true. It's true. Yep. <laughs> it's true. You have a lot of that. That's where they go to the rural areas and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Well, people might not be up on their game. You know, they're not saying that people slow, but they not be up, might not be up on that game, but they yep. give them a little money and get back. I seen the peck of wood that owned the mountain. Alongside mountain the Arkansas 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 River. Arkansas, I'm telling you. And a pineapple plantation. And he calls it the pineapple. We call it the pineapple farm. Everything is farm. He called it a pineapple plantation. Why the hell you got to say it's, it's a pineapple plantation? Because you know what his intention is. Yep. Know what his intention And he got some. I ain't even going to that right now. That pissed me off. Pocket Boy said, when, when it's coming to Africa going to be released? Whoa, Pocket, we're coming up on it right now. <clears throat> we're in distribution talks. We got a, a mean little game plan coming up on coming up, man. I'm gonna keep y'all in. I'm gonna keep y'all up on that. In the next week or so, we're gonna have the director on here. So we're gonna keep y'all informed on that and why Jameson. And we're gonna talk about that. And it's coming soon. It's coming soon. It's coming soon. Like I'm talking about, like real soon, real soon. Because like I said, we had to reschedule. Because <clears throat> the Wuhan shoes on shot a little, get a little, a little dust on our plans. But we just had to shake it off and re, you know, reevaluate. The ancestors has got something else planned for us, but it's gonna pop off. And I want everybody to go see it. Everybody got to take somebody. Positive vibe says, guys, the last time I went to Ghana, the sanitation thing was a massive issue. I think we need to come up with something for that. Yep. Yeah, and it's still a it's still an issue. Yep. But like I was saying earlier, there's a lot of new organizations, some NGOs and some uh, corporations or businesses that people have developed 
to recycle plastic, to clean up the beaches, uh, to different recycling of uh, different things. That's the problem. And we need our experts in sanitation, city planning. Uh, we need y'all. We need our people to come home and integrate and get some things done because I mean it's just work and it's under development is only because of the colonizers and the invaders that's the only reason so oh you just far behind uh, oh man you <laughs> Positive vibes. Say, guys, I saw you on Sister Yard's show. Oh, my God. You guys, the talent, the poetry. Wow, I was blown away. It was awesome. I love the one about the guy who was in prison. It still haunts me. Oh, Thank wow. You. Thank you so much. And I, <coughs> I told Pal, well, I'm going to have to, once we get to about, let me see. I'm going to say, when we get to about 5,000 subscribers, I got a present for y'all. I'm going to start making power. Get on here on Friday nights and do y'all some live stream poetry. So y'all <laughs> tell a friend, tell another friend to go ahead and subscribe to Living My Best Life in Ghana. And he's going to give y'all a live free poetry on Friday nights, every Friday night or every other Friday night. It just depends on him because he's a Scorpio now. I got to, got to work <laughs> with him. I got to work with him because he'll be like, man, I'm sleepy or something. No. <laughs> no, but for real, though, he'll be excited to do Appreciate that for y'all. Appreciate that positive vibe. Thank that, you, positive that, vibe. That, that, that um, poem was all true stories I got from guys that was behind the wall. And when so, we uh, used to have our prison, uh, what was it called? It was, you got super talented. Thank you, man. man prison what? prevention program. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we had yeah. a prison prevention. Some people call it a scared straight program. No, ours was a prison for prevention program. We used to go into the big prisons here in the uh, Tennessee and uh, and take children there. And we would sit with the brothers and they would tell you <laughs> all about their stories and how they got caught up in the system and stuff like that. And that poem is called WTSP and it's for West Tennessee State Prison, which is the, one of the main prisons that we used to go to for our program to take yeah. the youth. So uh, if y'all missed it, go to Sister Yaw's channel and watch the uh, Exodus Alliance part two and probably a, like in the seventh hour because she did it for eight hours straight. And that whole seven hours, we went ham and their power did some poetry. And then they had the sister came in, the queen from the Congo. She came in and then we came back in and closed it out. It was <laughs> a beautiful, beautiful experience. So. Check that out. As the root said, there's a place here in Atlanta in the hood with a skating rink, pool hall, and bowling alley. Where in is one it? place. I love the skate. I just sold my skates with everything else preparing for the move. Oh, oh man. You, sure? you got to get you some <laughs> skates for my skate ring. You got to have some skates. Oh, my God. That's all right. She gonna, you sold those skates. We're going to have something wait for you when you get to go. We're going to hit that skate <laughs> ring on the beach. You got to. the skate ring. Yeah, because, uh, oh, my God, I had an opportunity. Oh, me. Yeah, let's say, I surely remember Crystal Palace in Memphis and many of the other businesses you mentioned. You're right, Future. Zara wasn't playing. <laughs> 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 Hello, you know. You know Zara was a spot. No, boy. Boy. look, I remember my mama used to have a big station wagon. This is when it was. It was kind of safe in the U.S. back then, where our parents had used to leave us in the car while they go in the store, and it'd be seven of us sitting out in that big old giant station wagon. You better not get out. You get caught, you get your butt towed up. Hey, Helen, service merchandise. All I got to say, <laughs> service merchandise. You remember service merchandise? <laughs> Oh my goodness, we gotta tell them about that robbery we saw in service merchandise that time. Oh man, we was in service merchandise biking probably like five or had to be oh five. It was oh 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 stuff. Was that service merchandise, baby? Yeah, that's the last one. Huh? Some dudes came in there and robbed service merchandise while we was, oh, we in, was there. in there. Bust the glass the jury counter was right in front of the entrance to the exit door. Who, whoever designed that was stupid. <laughs> Dude walked right in there, 
bow, bow, bust the thing, grab necklaces and rings, and little white girl said, ah! We turned around, he beeline right straight out of the door, jumped in the car, and the freeway was right there. It was over. We did catch them. It's over. Yeah. <laughs> you should have seen them pink, them pink people in there, boy. They was in that joint. Shook the devil. <laughs> All right, everybody's in here. We've been having a good night tonight, y'all. Ruth and Royce, I need reliable builders, family. I'm coming. I'm I'm coming in running. Yes, we'll help you find. We some. got that friends got on too. the ground. It's coming up. We got something, y'all. Make sure y'all tune in in the morning. Got some opportunities opening up, and we're just trying to organize and get it ready. If you want to uh be a part of Soft Talk, our uh our group, our support group that's offline, um. We're going to be getting ready for that as well. You can send an email to living my best life in Ghana at gmail.com and X to be added to the South Talk, Talk group. You have to uh, download the app, of course. All right. See, Pastor Bass, I think those Namibian laws should be implemented across Africa then. Brilliant. Get them foreigners up out of, out of Africa now. Oh, we coming back home. Man, I promise you. I feel you on that. And Get them out of there because they be real flagrant with their little attitudes. And, they sure oh, it's do. almost cuss, right? They be trying and to cuss And the Indians, too, too. Don't leave them out. The Indians from India, they have been secretly and sneakily being put in, planting themselves in oh, Africa yeah. for a long time. When I tell you they racist to the core, but they got some, some pigment in their skin, but I don't think it got nothing to do with melanin. The way they act. Nah, but I tell you the truth. In them. <laughs> them folks ain't straight. <laughs> Pops guy say, hey guys, lockdown is easing up. Say they lockdown. He said they lockdown is easing up a little bit. Oh, right okay. Now. That's good. You said say, hey, look, I apologize, King. My phone had died. Glad y'all was still on. Oh yeah, man, we here. Let's yep, see. That was yep. about five minutes ago. Yeah, we back. Uh, you said five minutes behind. I think so. Oh man, it's just everybody's just chopping up. Oh, see, I'm, I'm going, going through everybody's chopping up. Just pop it on there. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me go I'm saying use this. Okay. Father Vice said there are still police on the streets, but not like before. Okay. Yeah, they had a gang of them out. I understand earlier in this little situation. Quanita said, I love you guys. I learned so much in these live streams. Everyone here are like like the encyclopedia. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I had to get out the, I had to get out the pool and jump into the live stream. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, That's what I'm talking about. Much love to y'all. Yeah. Much love to my people. I love y'all. I love black people. I'm telling you. Let's see. Pause by. I say primary schools are opening up. Uh, okay, the first of June. Okay. <clears throat> we don't know when they gonna let our children go back to school. They won't even let them graduate. I over hope here. they don't go back to school. I hope all the parents say we gonna homeschool or send our folks to some retired teachers That's at home. Right, yeah. And let them learn at home and don't even expose them to the racism and white supremacy they exposed to on a daily basis and the classism and all of that other sism. Ism. This he said, uh positive advice that real estate agents are open. Uh <coughs> shops will be opening up in June. And okay. Uh, open up in June in London. Okay, okay. So are they talking about a, a second wave? I know they've been talking about the second wave crap and all of that. Is that where Bowtie's store is? Yeah, his bow yeah, his his store is in uh in uh uh positive vibes. Have you ever been to uh what's his name? The first name, Bowtie store. Uh huh, the the, the yeah. African designer, the Ghanaian designer, uh uh what's his name? His last name is Bowtie. Uh, Oswald Bowtie. Yeah, that's it. Woo! That boy got some fly clothes. Oh my God. Okay, so food shops and restaurants have remained throughout. Oh, okay, so they've been like, keeping them open. Damn. Father, I said, Pablo, I want your album. You remind me of Gil Sky Heron. Oh, man, that's a hell of a fine. Uh, they, hey. Yeah, he is. Like, he like <laughs> that's that. a compliment. That's definitely a compliment. Yeah, we love Gil Sky <clears throat> Heron. Yes. Yes. That's one of my favorite artists, period. Tobacco Road, you dirty and you filthy, Tobacco Road. I'm gonna give me some dynamite in a crane. I'm gonna blow it up, blow it up, start all over again. Bye. <coughs> oh, pal. Bye. 
Y'all get my daddy crunk on that right there without my gears got hurt in the last port. You think I'm something. So uh, I want to mention while we have this time, we are going to have uh, Ashanti Queen. If y'all familiar with my sister, she is building and she is doing things real big on, on her YouTube Excuse channel. Make sure y'all check her out. I'm going to have her on here on Saturday at 11 o'clock Memphis time. So we're in central time. So y'all make sure y'all do the numbers. And uh, next week, so now me, me and her are going to do something together. So I'll be informing y'all on that as well. Like Professor Smalls. Professor Smalls is coming through next week too. We excited about that. Unc is coming through. We talked with him today. And he's doing awesome. He's uh, you can catch uh, Professor Smalls. You can look up his lectures online. He's definitely, if you're looking to be sharp in your African centeredness and, and your, your consciousness, spiritual base. your spiritual base, an like African spiritual base, look up Professor James Smalls. Prof will have you right. Prof right. will have you on point. Right where you need to be. Yes. So and Prof is one of those esteemed elders. Is active in Ghana and, and in the and, States. And, 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 and take heed to everything he's been teaching us for a long time. We need to keep it in our mind. Where we at on the song? Probably about to say we need to get all the foreign NGOs out because they are de detrimental to our party. Yeah, the yep. NGOs want to bring drugs and all the other stuff into uh, yep. the country. The missions, all of them. All them yeah. folks. Them uh pink people that be around there with the little white piece of cloth on the top of their head. Oh, and positive more. vibes. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. He said you want to get a copy of my uh my CD. Uh, living my best living life, my best in, life Ghana. in Ghana. And go I'm saying Africa. In Ghana <laughs> at gmail.com. <laughs> Just send me a, a, a email and I we can go from there. Yeah, okay. I can get you straight. I got two. I got in the wind <laughs> and uh chapter one liberation is the poetry. <laughs> and I have a DVD that's coming out too. Well, it, it's already done. You got to package it, and it's coming out with it's all my poetry performances and some of my rhymes together at a performance I did at a place here called Chuckles Comedy Club. But it was they was having a poetry night there, so I just got in on that. So I'm not doing no comedy or nothing like that. But some folks say I'm funny enough to do it, but I don't. Nah, nah, nah. All right, let's see here. Sherry says sanitation and recycling is something I will volunteer to help with. It's the only thing everyone complains about the most. That's true. Yeah. <clears throat> That's true. That is definitely true. Can you keep on? No, you're going too far. Okay, well, you ain't saying nothing. <laughs> I didn't know what you was doing. I was you do your I thing. I just trying to help you. Shay say we have a chat group in, su in support of this channel on Soft Talk. Yeah. We switch. We try to do all things Africa. Yes, yes, we are. And uh, check out the figures phone. Anybody need a cell phone? Check out the figures phone and figures TV. Yes. Larry Wood said the King Kong movie makes marker of one of the ancient black emperors of China back in the early day when when he, when we ruled. Larry, put me up on game on that, man. What what what's the, what what you mean? What's going on with that? Explain that to me. Is the new King Kong? Cause I know they had some little uh, illusions in the new King Kong, the one Sammy Jackson was in, and a little dude that played Easy -E from uh, Straight Outta Compton. <laughs> if that's the one that you're talking about, let's see. You said, "Say wherever I'm at, we shutting them foreigners down, or they don't, or they won't make no money." Facts. That's what I'm talking about. I'm telling you. Trying to put that pressure on, like D Smoke say, apply that pressure. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's right. They need that pressure. They putting pressure on us. Okay, everybody's communicating. Say, I'm Are almost you caught, caught up. up. You no, ain't I ain't caught up. up. I ain't caught up. It's you ain't caught up. You fly. <laughs> yeah. He's he flying and trying to act like he's staying up on the chat room. Oh, man. I'm just I'm going. Everybody's talking and having <laughs> doing the thing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we just having such a good time tonight. It's been a couple of days since we've been on live. We normally on every night. Or doing the day two, but we have been doing some really good things, trying to get some things done and some developments for us all. So make sure y'all tune in. Tomorrow is Friday, very special. We're going to be uh, doing some updates and some opportunities on tomorrow about 11 a.m. So make sure y'all stay tuned and get ready. 
Um, it's big things happening. Friends on the ground is activated. And we're going forward <clears throat> with that as well as anything else that our people need. We want to make sure we have. So you said, said, yeah, I agree that 04113 was hella deep. I almost cried on Africa Day. So much black power. It had my mind racing. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I'm telling yeah, you, I, I enjoyed them two too. days ourselves. It was it almost was, like I was on on Planet Africa or something like that, man. Yeah, you know, for real. That's because, what our Africa TV supposed to look like on a daily basis instead of being invaded by the colonizers with these horrible, 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 horrible shows. The Indians on there with their shows. The Chinese on there with their shows. The I mean, it's getting it's getting ridiculous. It's getting ridiculous. Everybody is invading Africa. We remember when we first went to Africa, no one was on TV Man, but black I'm people. <laughs> Helen said, Man, what? I sure do remember service merchandise. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you. Service merchandise don't play. Mm. <laughs> Positive advice. I plan to open a train skills community college teaching plumbing, building everything like train tracks, roads, etc. So Africans can learn the skills we don't need the Chinese. God Ooh, damn it. That's, what, that's, that's, the, that's the game changer it, right it there, what sure you said is. right there. It sure because is. Because the, the, the thought and the, and the action always is, and the talk coming from Ghana or any other African country is that we don't have the resources we have to go outside. And most times when we go outside to get the technical training or the vocational training, we stay. We don't come back. So it takes somebody, whip it in reverse, come from the outside diaspora, a uh, true, true African, come back home with the ability to teach, learn, and eliminate the middle Build man. trade university. That's yeah, what it can be man. called. Trade school university. Trade you. That's, ooh, that's fine. Trade you. Yeah. Go. No. Come on with the positive vibes. That's awesome. See, these are the type of stuff that we look for that make us viable and people see the work and bringing us home. Yes. Because we done paid and built up all this crap over there. Ain't none of these folks say that they built a crap. Come on. Nothing. Maybe a bomb. You probably didn't And they had that. some help with that. No, they did. Some 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 to some to kill people with. And that's what that's what they can boast on. Positive I said the revolution will not be televised. No, it's it on. won't. <laughs> the yeah, will the be bomb. Live. They they build a bomb and then and then win a peace award. What kind of crap? Not a nigga that got a hot that make dynamite win the Nobel Peace Prize, man. But the who is Nobel, though? Arthur Nobel. Uh -huh. The dynamite. Dynamite, not your glisten, I think it was dynamite. And then he invented the Nobel Peace Prize. Come on, man. How you gonna have peace and you dropping bombs on folks? Come on, man. By killing them? Come on, man. Sick of it. I'm catching up. I'm catching up. Terry said, "It sounds like Zambia has pretty has <coughs> pretty much lost their country to China. How about all of them move to that one country and get out of Ghana? Exactly, go there. Bye. Peace out. Then we don't even want them to have Zambia. Sure we want to kick them out of Zambia and kick them back on their planet over there in Asia with she their dirty self. It's just how it need to be." They, we tired of them spreading this disease. We tired of this bad food that they serving up. We tired of this high blood pressure and diabetes that they serving up. All this plastic rice that they serving up. We sick of them. They are just, they just savages. Shop. He's yeah. never been. Yeah, he's never been okay. <clears throat> yeah, I was interested. I really like his stuff. I really, really like some of his stuff. Some, yeah, some of his fire stuff. Lowe's, 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 what's up, homeboy? Peace, Peace family, love, life, like liberation, man. What's up? Oh, I haven't been on the bus. I know if you came up there, I've been, I've been, man, I've been so tired, man. And the bus being in the shop. Yep. So, oh. so we'll be back open tomorrow, though, yeah. if the if rain, rain. If rain. If not, I'll be right back here relaxing. <laughs> if, one time. if it rain tomorrow, then we'll be back up on Saturday. I saw some sunshine Saturday, Sunday, Monday. So, I was about to say, I, I love you, Sky Heron. Bottle is my favorite. Oh, man. What? <laughs> Don't play. Seriously, I saw Gil Sky Heron perform right before he transitioned. God. Did you? Wow. I never got a chance to see him perform live mm -hmm. in my life. Mm -hmm. I want to, though. 
<laughs> you uh, you say thanks everyone for any information. Also, keep us informed about the lifting of any flight restrictions. Yeah. Yeah. Let's make sure we uh, diligently share that information, y'all, because we want to make sure we keep everybody in the know as much as possible. Because they ain't not one us gonna know everything, so we gotta share these minds. <laughs> she said, I love Ashanti Queen. Yeah, Ashanti Queen is girl. on it. She's doing her thing. Yes, yeah, she is balling. She's a boss. King Lo said, hey, take care of some P. I get up with you tomorrow if y'all got available. Okay, that's cool, bro. That's cool. No problem, Lo. And I had some a uh, couple of people that's supposed to be coming through to pick their CDs up tomorrow. If you in the uh, city, I have them with me in the truck, so Come on through. Power UCF CD, my LB CD. Say, yes, yes. Professor Smalls is a master teacher. Facts. Mm -hmm. Really is. Yes. He really is. Yes. Yeah, y'all come come check that music out, man, because we, we we did everything ourselves. We did the design of everything. We packaged it. Well, we had it packaged, but I'm saying we paid for everything and did everything ourselves, man. So we want to spread that light because lots it's timeless. It's not like. When it was made, it was like, oh, no, they're talking about 2001. No, it's six times. Bye, bye, smile. Yep. <clears throat> Can we form groups and reach out to the community selling to the rack? Huh? To the racks? Racks? Uh, I don't understand that one. Yeah, you guys, you got to elaborate a little more. It was that Black Queen. Yeah, hey, greetings. She's a queen. <laughs> I know they didn't might say that song right there, boy. Please uh, install Soft Talk if you want to be added to the group. <laughs> yeah. Put Soft Talk on my phone. I guess I can get rid of what's that. Yeah, we getting rid of. We need to invade and push them out. Yes. In agreement with that. That's another great idea. Yep. Liz Biddy, what's up? Liz Biddy. Yo. Aquaba. Macho. <laughs> Where we at? In Dubai. Is it it? They don't see it. You ain't done nothing. Yeah. All right, y'all. It's been a ball, but that's all. We are tired. We need to get our beauty rest because we love getting rest and we believe in self-care. We thank y'all so much for being a part of the Living My Best Life in Ghana family. Have you seen the song? What song? Living My Best Life song. Living my best life in Ghana. <laughs> <laughs> That's my little jingle. I'm going to have a commercial now. It's real soon. As we get bigger and bigger, we're going to get bigger things. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So anyway, thank you for your support. You can always send us a donation through our cash app. It's always posted. If not, just send me an email. I can send you whatever information you want. If you want to donate to our efforts. If you want to do whatever you have planned, whatever you need help with, shoot the emails. Keep sending and sending, sending, sending. Mm -hmm. We're working. We're about to pop open Friends on the Ground. If you don't know what Friends on the Ground is, go back in our archives and watch the videos so you'll know where we are with that. We will explain it again. <laughs> but at this time, we love y'all. Stay strong. Stay focused on Africa. Stay in Black Code, and you we're going to do Hold on. You said, I said, come to Africa. It's coming to America is my favorite movie. And I want to make a movie called Coming to, coming to Africa. <laughs> 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 coming to America in reverse. Yeah, that's what we did. That's the name of the movie. Come that's to the Africa. movie Power was starring <laughs> in. <laughs> yep. You said, so, going back to Africa, that's my song. What? Yep. Approach the scene. Black swag of a king. A slave's broken dream. It seems a living African theme. Ghana Benin. Togolis Soto, I must go. My Swazi Swazi let me be your cape, cause what the fuck I need to hit up Paris, France for when I got the Ivory Coast from Angola to Morocco. Head it <laughs> back to Africa. That is where uh, my people from. Peace y'all. Peace y'all. Love y'all. Peace. <laughs>